went crazy right now. Hold on, let me wait for her to come back. That was wild. Hello. My freaking, my YouTube updated. My YouTube literally updated while I was live. I don't know if the other live saved or not. So we'll see. Let me wait for her to come back in. It updated. It was like YouTube was updated. Bitch, I didn't want that. The so while can we get a bestie live already? Can we get a bestie live? I've been giving bestie lives. I haven't done a regular live. Bestie, I missed you. No, my freaking YouTube updated while I was on live. When you can afford the apartment but not the Wi-Fi. Excuse me? I have Wi-Fi. Well, yeah. Girl, let me to play. Show us. I know. I think it did. Yeah, it updated. It updated when I was live. It showed me. I think your other live is saved, Bestie. Okay, good. All right. Let's continue it then. All right. So, I had just shown y'all. I think you're the... Okay. So, I had just showed y'all how... Let me do... Let's do that again. Let's redo it. Just redo it. Let me let me start over here. Okay, so this is coming out of my restroom. There's like the Sonia. That's all of us right now, ready to move. To so um, so yeah. So this is coming out right here. Uh, the double doors outside, and then we are coming over here. So now this is going to be my beauty room. This will be my, this is the stuff that I have so far. I still need to move in my furniture. So I'm thinking, okay. Um, yeah, literally updated immediately. I was like, geez. Okay. So right here, I think I'm going to put a desk and I'm going to get a computer or my laptop, put it there. And then over here, I'm going to put my vanity. And then I think somewhere here in the corner, I'll put like a small little couch, but this is going to be my beauty room. This, you got a balcony. Yes. I'll show you it guys in a second. So yeah, so this would be my beauty room. And then right here. So it has two doors. So this is a door to come in. Okay, and then this is the door to come into the restroom. Oh, it's locked. My bad. My bad, my bad. Let me come around here. So this is my restroom. Segun, segun, right? So it's like the guest restroom too. So like you don't have to go to my room to come into this restroom. You can just come to this door. Wait, did I lock it or what? What the hell? Why is there an opening? Oh, well, that's another problem. That's a problem for me later. Um, here's the mirror. Bestie, don't show your balcony. Here's just so people don't see. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. I won't show the balcony. Whoa. Hmm. We'll see. Um, but this is like, I'll put my mineral perfumes there. So in here, don't have anything yet. Um, in here, I'll put like my hair products. Yeah, just be careful with weirdos. Yeah. And then here's all of my hair, like, tools. And then down here, I'll put my other stuff. I just have that for now until my other furniture comes in. No outside. No. Okay, I won't show it then. You guys are suggesting no, then no. Trash can. Okay. And then here. Bessie, so your kitchen isn't on your balcony. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. So there's, like, my perfumes, extra hand soaps towels other perfumes i'm gonna put my tamps in there some wipes okay i won't show it then you're absolutely right i was really sure because we got the pool view so here's the other shower for when i don't want to fucking see how cobo um and these are the clothes that i have so far i still need to bring other clothes in but this is my closet over here why do i feel like we're near a park for the one. Don't do a video or something where you can edit it when showing it. Don't show outside. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably... Well, it's because it doesn't say... Freaking maggots. No, they don't gusto. Who? I don't see not one mosca. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the apartment. Let me see. It's because... Well, yeah, there are weirdos. Are you still moving things? Yeah, I just need the rest of my furniture. There are weirdos. You're right. But I have the pool view. So, yes, pool view. Now you can see when it's not busy and go chill. Um, para todo el tenedero, el tenedero en la kitchen. What's up, tenedero? 
I want to, to see the pool. Um, people can buy babies in a restaurant and shit. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm not going to show it. Um, show us. LOL. I'm, no, I'm not going to do it. But I, I, we have the pool view. You're going to be mad when guests start playing uh, with your stuff. Hey, Bessie's almost missed our movie. And Bessie, they'll find out where you live and flood the reviews. True, true, true. Um, yeah, but we have a pool view. So down there is a pool. Behind the pool, there's like um, the mail room. And it's really nice. It's actually really nice. It's actually really nice. But you're right. I'm not going to show it because there are weirdos. I'm sure you can find an angle that won't give it away facing the party, but it doesn't have to be right now. All the ones commenting are not in green. Yeah, that is weird. Do it on a video so you can edit. Yeah, I'll probably do it like that. Pool view is nice, but noisy. Yeah, right. Well, honestly, I think right now, these apartments, um, we have not seen any, like, families. We've only seen, like, single people. Swimming vlogs. Yeah, I'm not going to show it. We respect. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe at night. It's really nice. Don't show nothing outside. You know these people are crazy. Yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, maybe just show your PPV besties. Um... We'll see. I'll probably, I could probably could upload a TikTok. I just have to edit stuff. But you're right. The only thing is, I don't know. People are fucking scary. Like, they might find where. Best to go learn soon as summer. The apartment echoes your richness. It's because I don't have any furniture yet. Do you have a washer dryer in the unit? Yes. Proud of you guys. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, so. Let me move y'all over here. So, yeah. So, in this one, damos. In this one, damos. Even on PP yeah, even on PPV, we have people who are just fucking crazy. I can't wait to eat this shit. Um, they just, you know, they're weird. But I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's cause like no se puede ver. Well, I don't know. I don't know y'all because no, because there is always that one person. You're not taking your old furniture. Um, I threw my couches away. It was just a, it wasn't even a section. It was just like a one little couch. I threw that away. Um, and my old bed is not coming over here. The frame I'm gonna keep cause I'm gonna take that to Mexico. And what else? I'm trying to think. Just my dresser and stuff. Other than that, we're not bringing anything else. I'm buying, well, we're trying to buy new stuff. I was gonna buy me a vanity. I'm gonna buy my desk cause he, he going through it. He going through it with like how fucking pricey this is turning out to be. But um, yeah, I'm gonna buy my desk, and he's gonna buy me my vanity. And yeah. Sorry, I gotta fucking clean this down. I know because we got my crazy. I'm so happy for you. I want to join the PV right, right now. I'm not in a place where I can, but once I can, I will. Thank you, bestie. Moving is so smooth. It is. Make sure the first tile. Oh, yeah. Period. It's always feels nice to buy the new everything. Poco poquito. Yeah, I'm not worried about it too much. The only thing I... We already ordered the couch, and we ordered the bed frame. That's For me, that's fine right now. Do you remember when you were working at the gas station, and there was a company that would pick up old people, and the drivers were fucking around good old days. Good old motherfucking days. Crazy Coco, happy one year. Everything's always been like, why? Yeah, why are mops fifty dollars? We still need a mop in here. I'm sorry about the angle too. I don't have my freaking um, tripod with me. I haven't even tried the Nespresso yet. Jacobo tried it before me because I didn't have any creamer. Yeah, and this is <laughs> this little. It's a torta, y'all. It's a torta magnet. The bestie who got me the tortilla press. It's a little magnet, so. Hey, a torta for a torta, per my first little magnet for my fridge. But yeah, oh shit, sorry. What sucks too, I don't have anywhere to fucking sit down yet. Talking to my guys, I remember the snack <laughs> mood. Bessie, my daughter's birthday is today and she's 20. Happy birthday to her. It's okay, it's giving FaceTimes. I love the washer dryer for you, that's so convenient, yes. Yes, even though we're gonna, to later today, we're gonna go do our last um, wash at the laundromat because it's a lot. Pray for me, I have an interview because I'm working in the, in the what? I'm working in the clinic on the phone. Ooh, purr. I'm about to eat this ice cream. Porque se me antojo. My son, cause my daughter and I. Totas. 
Starting from the bottom, now we're here. I need to be bumped, Bessie. Congrats. Thank you, Bessie. Have to head back to work. We'll watch later. Hey, Nicole. Happy one year, Bestie. Your apartment is exactly like my house. It's like your tiny, it's like you're in my kitchen. Purr. No more laundry measure. Do you have a washer dryer? Yes, I do. But it's just so much. It's so much that we need to go wash it in like the laundry thing. Um, yeah. It's just too much. Like I could wash it here, but I don't think we're spending the night here. I think we're still going to, I think we're going to sleep in the old apartment tonight, but tomorrow we should be sleeping here. It's because we have to, we have to put the bed frame together and that's it. Like we just have some furniture to move. And then this weekend, we're going to go back to my old apartment and we're going to, um, we're going to clean it. We're going to deep clean my old apartment. Um, cause you know, I like to have a good record when it comes to apartments and shit. And I don't want that to stay on my fucking record if it's like all, oh, you know what I mean? And we have to, um, Papa was gonna go and fix up where we hung stuff. Yeah, we just need a, I just need my dresser and my, that one furniture where you guys will see my lives in the back. My old vanity, I'm putting it into storage because I think I'm gonna take it to Mexico. And I don't know if I'll give it to my niece or I'll just put it in my room, I'll see. I will hurry with the white cabinets because they get yellow and greasy when you cook. Well, you know, you gotta be clean. I haven't cooked yet. I would never show up for your safety. Yeah, I might not. The old apartment, there's only two pieces of furniture, three pieces. My bed, my, um, my dresser, and my vanity. It is sad. It's very bittersweet. Don't make me cry right now. But it feels so good to be in here. Like, I love it. There's so much more room. Like, honestly, my old apartment might just be the living room to my room. And maybe not even, bitch. I don't know. Yeah. Where is the link for the best description? It should be in my, it should be in the, um, it's in my bio, in my link tree, and it's also here in the description. I remember moving to our first apartment, we had no furniture, one pot, one pan, two plates, yeah. Couches will be here this weekend. How does Don feel? He's tired, y'all. He's so drained from coming in and out, going up and down the fucking stairs. How many square feet is it? I don't know. I don't know, bestie. I don't know nothing about that. Couldn't ask me because I won't, I don't know anything that has to do with like square feet, mileage, anything like that. I don't know. Honestly, don't scare me either. I feel like people who are asking how many square feet, how much this, how much that. Y'all y'all looking on apartments right now to see where I'm living. That scares me. This is giving Hagrid for sure. Where did you buy your couches? I might be in the market for new ones soon. I got them off of Amazon. It's the Bethlehem couch. I'll let you know how I like it. You think blah, blah. No, so when I used to live with my mom, in the beginning, when, so they can find out where you live, just you showing the layout. Damn, that's scary. Well, to be honest, all the apartments I looked at had this layout. <laughs> so, I mean, because this is, this is like in Texas, this is the layout that people are using now. Have you met the neighbors now? We don't have neighbors yet. I think we just have like, um, like here where we live, there's no neighbors. I oh, haven't seen anybody. We got the first unit here, like in this, in this building. We do have upstairs neighbors and downstairs neighbors. But other than that, like we don't have neighbors next door yet. There's a company owns multiple buildings. Yeah. I feel like the look is standard. It is a standard look, honestly. In Texas, that's what I've seen. It's hard with this layout to find people. <laughs> 
I don't know how people do it half the time. 28 still can't remember my full story. People are fucking weird, bro. But they'll do anything. I'll tell you that much. They will do anything. It's the same layout for house, too, so y'all stop me. <laughs> Most apartments have the same square foot, so it'll be impossible to find out by that information alone. Hey, um, R&B, welcome to Las Comadres. Nisu Luces, I wanted to see her extravagant baby shower. Don't even get me started. Who knows what happened? Hey, good vibes. Good vibes to them. That's crazy, though. All I know, bro, when it comes to Hedion Dizo, she has a special gift. I'm going to tell you something. Oh, no. Vamos, vamos a tirar veneno on my new apartment. Dude. It's, look, this is what happened. We should buy We should buy a Frozen, a new chapter for you. Can y'all see me again? I saw what happened. I know what's happening now. This is a sign no more veneno, only good vibes. Yeah. I'm not going to throw no, no veneno. You want to know why? Aquí me dice cuando entra y sale la gente. Bessie so shook, she froze. No, it's not reporting. It's that people are coming in and people are commenting so fast. You mentioned her and it froze. Me quedé esperando on the other live. Yes, we can say baptize the apartment. You need to watch that again. Bestie, que Dios los protege de la gente. Que Dios los protege de la gente mal intencionada. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? Um, I thought you were thinking, no. It's because people are hopping in the live really fast and then they're getting out. I saw it. My number, well, I don't know about y'all. On my end, it goes from 300 to 500. Son ellas. Es que como no estado en vivo, they're coming over here looking to see what I'm going to say. Yeah, you're right. Let's keep it cute. Let's keep it cute. Let's get the good vibes going. Y'all see that, how it jumps up? Let's keep the good, the good vibes going. You're absolutely right. Yeah, it went from three, three something to five. New Las Bestie alert per. Es la gente de ya. Anyways, as I was saying, you're in Texas, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they're coming in and coming out. No, she's not in Texas. I'm in Alaska. Yeah, so the cooking videos are going to go crazy. Let's do a preview of like cooking with me is going to be like this. It'll be like, I don't know how I'm going to do it, honestly, because I need to see y'all. I need to see the comments. So I'm eating. It's called, I don't even know what it's called. I tried it one day out of nowhere. Blue Bunny, Little Sundays. I had a layover in Austin yesterday. Y'all were cloudy. Yeah, I was. It rained a little bit this morning. But yeah, how are we going to do the, the lives? I see. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I need advice for wisdom teeth pain. I don't get them out to, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, we're going to do cooking lives. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Hey, Nancy. Happy 12 months. Happy one year, bestie. Buenas vibras. Yes. I wish I was in Hawaii. Yeah, I don't know what the setup's gonna be like, but we will, we'll be doing cooking. <clears throat> oh, just my first live. I always go back and watch them. Per Nadia, where are you gonna be chopping the ingredients? I say put the camera there. Hmm, with your new laptop? Maybe. Cause right here, all I have, look at my spices. Cosa sadness, that's all I have right now. I Bro, spices are so expensive. Like low key. I guess I can put y'all over here. Basically, scrub your hands with salt tonight in the new house and say your manifestations for this new chapter. Then wash it off with water and say you welcome everything you um, started and air dry. Okay. Opposite side of the stove. Let me see. Y'all let me know so that way I know. I could have y'all here. Look right there. Oh, I see. Like this. Chop it up. It's too it's too low. I mean I don't know. Would that be fine for y'all? Or would y'all want it back there? Open a Bible and so it's to take care of you guys from the bad. Thank you. I'll look that up. Bessie, if you don't mind me asking, what does an apartment like that cost monthly? 
Do y'all really want to know? <laughs> Do y'all really want to know? <laughs> yes, yeah, better angle. I have a, I have a tripod. I'll set up. We'll try it differently with a tripod. I just don't have it with me right now. Right now, I'm on a little stand. <sighs> That's it. Oh yeah. Why y'all trying to get me? Who was that? Who trying to get me God as to how much I'm paying? But see how much you're making say before moving to the before right? <sighs> Movie's expensive. Why y'all trying to get me? A part like that here in Orange County, California. Oh, that's a lot. The range, um, it's between sixteen hundred and twenty two hundred. It's between sixteen hundred to twenty two hundred. Yeah. Just make up a number. It's three dollars. Saying you're never paying that much, but then talk when you're in the saying you're super for paying that much. Who? Oh, don't nobody give a fuck. I was like, who? Um, yeah, it's like sixteen to twenty two hundred. What? Uh, no, you know, an apartment like that here in San Jose is like, see, not the money you have to pay rent. Don't tell them. I went three times. They lo regalaron bestie. Oh, nah. Let me shut up. This was gifted to me. This was gifted to me. That's why I painted the cabinets. Also, I'm from the Texas because it's the capital. That's great for Texas. Bessie, love our Texas. Did I miss a tour? You very much did. You had to go to the beginning. Yeah, this was given to me. Damn, Bessie, your riches, my mortgage is less than that. It depends on where you live, honestly. I found on my road. I'm just curious. Thanks for answering. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't see who it was. I was just fucking around. I didn't even see who asked. I just read the the question. You're fine. Um, yeah. But but it's a, yeah. Well, here's the thing. Me and Hakoa both work. Um, but like rent wise, I won't be helping with rent. What I um said I would help out with is just so I I'm gonna pay me personally with my money that I like work for with my job. Um, I pay the Wi-Fi, I pay that, and then, oh, I give half of the truck payment, and then, that's it. <laughs> um, it's generational wealth, but you that, actually. I hate y'all. Yeah, oh, I want to sit down. I don't have any chairs. All I have is my rolling chair. This is all I have to sit on right now. I need a, that's so cheap. I need to, um, I need a freaking, como se dice? I need to buy some chairs for my kitchen. Let's bring y'all in closer here. Yeah, so I just, I pay half of the truck payment, which is $350, and then I pay the Wi Fi, which is like 100 bucks. So what I pay for, like where my check goes, the way me and Huckleball split up bills is he pays like, what, 90%, maybe 80, and I pay 20, maybe 10. So I, yeah, I only give 450 a month. Bessie don't need anything as well. Yeah, makes her banky like this, so andale. Yeah, so we say, we have been saving up for this. And here's the thing, we have been spending fucking money, but like, no, we haven't, we haven't slept here yet. The, I only have the mattress. I don't have the bed frame yet, but that comes in today. Um, What was I gonna say? Yeah, we, we always had a setup like that. Like, I really don't pay that many bills. He pays the rent. He he's, uh, pays the light, the water. Um, he puts gas in my truck. He pays half of my truck payment. Um, he pays the insurance for both of our trucks. Um, anything, any maintenance that has to go into the truck, he pays for it. Uh, yeah. That's not really splitting the bills, besties. It's not. It's just, I was like, let me help out. 
Uh, yeah, so I pay like four fifty a month, and me personally and my bills, and then all I have is my Sephora credit card, which you know I don't really don't do too much damage on it. Well, yeah. Mhm. Mm Where's the holy water? I need to get some. I need to sage this bitch. So yeah, and then he pays. So if like anything, I'm trying to be like you. No, but it's not, here's the thing. It's not it's not a realistic thing. The only reason that we even have it set up like that is because he well he makes way more money than me. Um, I don't work full time, so that's why it's like that. And you know, when I can, I spoil him. Like I'll buy him some stuff. Like on his birthday, I bought him that ring and stuff. But um, realistically, like he does, he pays the majority of the bills. And right now. For me personally, like, so with the, whatever I get on PPB, I've just been putting into savings. So we have, we have three different accounts. So we have, what is it, three? One, two, three. Yeah, so oh, I have three different accounts, excuse me. So we have um, Well Wells Fargo, and that's where, like, the bills come out. Um, and then we have Chase, and that's where, like, both of our savings is, I guess. Like, I really don't put money, <laughs> I really don't put money in there. That's where Hakobo Savings is. And then my savings is separate. I have my own um I have my own card, my own bank card where um you work 20 hours, bestie, half time. Yeah, I don't I only work it depends. Um right now I have been working more just because, you know, where I work right now, they um some, you know, bitches getting pregnant, as they should, right? And so there's not really a lot of people there. So I have been picking up the slack here and there and like my days have been a little bit longer. So I have been working, I guess, for the past couple weeks, I have been working full-time hours, but I don't really, I'm not full-time. Like they don't pay me full-time and part-time. Um, but yeah. And so whatever I get from, um, from the YouTube and stuff like that, I put it into my savings. And I have gone in there, not gonna lie. I went in there for um, the shopping that I've done for this place, like the Nespresso, um, you know, some of like the, just the, like the random stuff that I bought. Um, I've gone into my savings for that. And then I did get myself the Dyson hair thing. I went to my savings for that. Um, and then, yeah. It's okay to have your man paid for building the wrong with being taken care of. Yeah. And so, yeah. So that's where, that's where my money's gone. And then right now, I knew that the groceries were going to be expensive straight up. So the groceries, we went half on the groceries. Just because he was like, no, 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 I'm going to buy them. But I, I, had, I needed a lot of stuff too. And I was like, no, like, let me help you out. Because he's been everybody. He bought the damn shark vacuum and like all the other stuff. And he got the couch and the bed and the bed frame. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> let me help you out. So uh, we won't have these on the, the lives you do basically make you full time. I guess, huh? I am full time. So yeah, so the, the grocery went half and half. It was, it was 430 bucks. So we went have these on that. And then I pay for food every now and then. Like if I don't want to cook straight up sometimes, I'll be like, I'll order Uber or whatever. And um, Uber Eats or DoorDash. And that's, that's on me when there's food at home and I don't want to, I don't feel like cooking. But yeah. But that's the expense. Yeah, it's not really like 50-50, but it's not also like, you know, soy una mantenida, 100%. Are you wanting to review on the doctor? I really like it. I can tell you right now, I really like it. I'll do a full video with it because I do. I need to write that bitch off on taxes. Um, so I will do a, like a TikTok video of it, but I really like it. I work at every Friday. My husband gives me his check and I take care of everything. Yeah, because realistically, Huggo, we don't know how to pay a damn bill. I mean, I'm sure he could do it by himself if he had to. But because he has me, like I, he doesn't know anything about anything. Y'all get new, new furniture? Yes, I have a couch coming this weekend. My bed should be here today. The sad little torta. <laughs> Where is it at? Oh, God. Dude, this is so me with so many fucking drinks. But yeah. And I need some bar stools. And I think, I think, bro, it's because it's so expensive. Oh, the best thing who asked me how much should you save. Um, so when it comes to, it depends if, when you're moving. Some apartments include the water. Does yours best? Yes. It includes water here. We have to pay the uh, light separately though. And the light, they gave me a freaking choice. So the, with Austin, I don't know if it's Austin Energy, I don't know what, anything here, but they told me that I had to do a $200 deposit 
um, or if I didn't want to do the $200 deposit, that I could just get on auto pay, which I was going to do anyways. And then I was shook that people don't... <laughs> It's good okay, at my apartments, um, you know, my old apartments, the light, everything was included. Yeah, I have valet trash as well. Everything was included. Like it was just one thing. And at my old apartment, we were only paying, well, Hawkeye was only paying uh, $1,200. And that was in rent, light, gas, water, cable, the amenities, amenities for the apartments. Um, so yeah, $1,200 in my old apartments. And here, like, you have, like the light is separate. And like, I've never lived somewhere or the light is separate, you know what I mean? You inspire me to hustle, congrats to you, bestie. Hey, bestie, I was in the trenches for 10 years. 10 years, and to be honest, me and Jacob will kind of miss it. It's cause, como te diré, like los borrachitos, los cuz quemando llanta, our neighbors were really fucking sad that we were leaving. They helped Jacobo bring some of the stuff, and he was just like, yeah. And they were like, damn, like, we gonna miss y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna miss y'all too, low key. Because I, I don't know. That's a win here. Everything is separate. Yeah, the gunshots, the fireworks. My life was orange this month, Bessie. I've been praying for y'all that light bill be a scam. That's the thing, though. And so she told me, she was like, where do you want to cap the like your bill at? And I was like, what do you mean cap? And she was like, well, some people will say, like, only take out 100 or only take out 200. I was like, you can do that? I didn't know people did that. And so I was like, no, just take the whole thing out. Because here's the thing. I know some, y'all ain't going to say who, okay? But I know somebody um, who basically wasn't paying their light and that shit stacks up like that shit will stack up and so that scares me i'm like no just take it out just take it out i don't want to hear it i don't care how much it is just take that bitch out because y'all ain't gonna call me talk about my lights cut off because i was fucking behind or something my level well we're only two people like and we both work so i would i don't think it'll be that much Maybe just because I'm going to be going live type of shit, but not even. Like, we really don't even watch TV, besties. Like, we're fucking, we both work, come home, eat, and then go to sleep. Jacobo will watch, like, a little novelita on Netflix, but that's it. I don't, we have two TVs, and I don't even really turn my TV on. I think the most that will get here is probably, like, 200, because we're just two people. Who, watch it be like fucking my water bill was 112 <gasps> that i can't imagine my life is high in the winter i can imagine my water bill being high just because me and i go be showering like crazy and like when i be washing my dishes and shit because look okay i'm sorry i can't stand look don't even come for me besties don't even come for me i don't mean to offend anybody right now yeah it is the ac ask me ask me what my thermostat is on right now i don't care i don't care Ask me what it's on right now. 500, your water bill will be hard because of the washer. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the light on. Mm -hmm. I guess 63. Actually, I don't even know. What's on? Oh, God, I see it now. It's on 67. It's on 67. I like it cold. I like my apartment cold. Jasmine Winter. It's on 67. But it's also on auto. It's not on all day. Oh, and the electric stove. You're right. <gasps> my life might be a... If y'all see me on TikTok Live <laughs> asking for gifts, I'm on your business. I knew it. I'm the same. The air conditioner will, will crumble you. Stop real quick with that light bill. Oh shit. But it's on auto. It's on auto. Yeah, in the in the summer, Texas, they'd be like, oh, put it on a good 79. I got the message from freaking, I forgot who it was, Austin Energy Urcott, whoever last year talking about you should have your temperature at 79. Excuse me? No. In Texas, 79 is basically 99. No. I don't care. Next slide, Bessie gonna be in the dark. <laughs> Bro, Jacobo was such a... He was like, hey, turn all them lights off. <laughs> I keep mine on 73 year round. I could never in my life. Yeah, when I leave, I'm gonna turn it off. No, it's on auto, though. It'll be fine. Ogre, your life was definitely gonna be in the 300. Damn it. I have a minute 78 and my bill will be 300 plus, Bessie. That's what I miss about my old apartments. I would have it really cold 
and the light bill wouldn't it'd be the same. Yeah, next live in the dark. We're gonna have a sleepover live, so I wouldn't gotta turn no lights on. How about that? So that's really the heat. Why would anyone set it in that sun? Exactly. Craziness. My light bill is no less than four hundred monthly. Bro, I can't even, and you know what, the to, the besties who have kids, because like imagine your kid has like a PlayStation and they have their TV in their room and everything that they got going on. And then if you have kids, you're washing more with your washer and dryer. Your hair looks darker, bestie. It does, huh? Thank goodness, because the blonde was kind of, she was trying to come back. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You're absolutely right. Damn. Honestly, I know <laughs> my mom... <laughs> My mom, in the summer, when we didn't have any school, bro, let me say something. She would throw us outside. Like, she would go by every year. She would, sit, like, she would spend money on a pool. Those pools from Walmart. And be throwing shit in dirty laundry that ain't even dirty. No. And, like, I've always been, like, tengo la pinche maña todavía. Like, Jacobo hates it. But me, y'all, like, I, ever since I was younger, my mom hated it. And she would, like, low-key beat my ass about it. I, I will change a lot. Like if so, if like if I got wet or like, okay, I'm gonna be so vulnerable right now. Y'all gonna be like, you're just you're dumb. Okay, kids act like they riches and turn on everything exactly. So I am like a germaphobe in the sense of like, and it's dumb. It's it's very selective on what like I think is like crazy. So as I went thought, um, if I if I'm going out. And I just put on a good fit or whatever. And um, how do I say this? I have dirty. So I have like raggedy clothes to clean clean the apartment. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. And so if I have like on clean clothes and I know I haven't. Like if my toilet needs to be cleaned or something. Um, and like I touch the toilet with like my leggings by accident. I'll change my leggings. <laughs> that don't even make no sense. I know. Or like. I can't stand this, but like in my old apartment, when I would wash dishes, like sometimes the water would be like, it would se quedaba aquí, and like I would come up to wash my hands or something, and like my shirt would get wet, I would change it. I would change it, like it's wet, it's dirty, it's not even dirty, it's just wet, it's just water. And I would change it, cause I, that's just how I've always been. And my mom hated it, cause like I was always, like just fucking wasting my clothes. And that's how I still am, I don't know why. OMG, Bessie, me too. I changed too. I, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, it don't make no sense. I thought I was the only one, Bessie. Yeah, it just don't make sense. Like, I can't. And no, same thing. So, like, as a cuenta, uh, I do it all the fucking time. And it's so dumb. It's so, so dumb. Like, and here's an... <laughs> one time, Jacobo... Okay, he was cleaning the restroom, right? Jacobo was cleaning the restroom. Because El se encarga the, to the, of the bathtub and the shower. He always cleans that. I can't... I can't clean restrooms because it grosses me out, right? I just don't like it. I feel... I have to, like, put... I have to, like, be... Like, if, if toilet water touches me, I'm done. Even if it's a clean, I just... I can't do it. And so, he cleans the restrooms. I... Yo me encargo de la cocina, de todo lo que sea. Everything else, all clean. But Jacobo has to clean the restrooms. And so... And y'all already know, I can't see the, the restroom trash being taken out. I can't be anywhere near it. I fucking gag. I'm grossed out. Like, I have to go into another room while he takes the trash out. I don't know why. And so one day, he had taken the trash out, right? He came back in, and he didn't wash his hands. Like, I was I wait for him, but I don't know why. Like, he was going to wash his hands, but he stopped, and he fucking grabbed me, right? And he was hugging me, and I was like, and so I was like, you have garbage hands, and you just touch me. And I had just put on a fresh shirt, and I went and changed my shirt. I went and changed my shirt because, like, you, I was like, wash your hands. And he's gonna wash them, but he freaking hugged me before washing his hands. And I changed my shirt because of that. So yeah, I'm telling you, it's just, I don't know, I don't know why I'm like that. It's dumb. That's me, but with mop water, anything, bro. Any one time, let me tell y'all one time, bro. This is me and Scar, okay? Not to mention her. So what are you doing when poopy splashes water hits your butt cheeks? It's a whole thing, y'all. Yeah, I would have changed too. So one time me and Scar, I was young, y'all. And I don't even know why we were at her apartment. Something had happened and like we were there. And there was, I guess, there was like these ads or something on Facebook and stuff where like people, they needed people to go clean like apartments or houses or whatever, right? 
And so there was this house that they were doing, and that's me, Bessie. If I go out for a doctor's appointment, I have good clothes. I get home immediately changed, so that's mental illness. <laughs> oh, thank you for diagnosing me, Trish. I appreciate that. So we go, so my, my, my mom made me go with her, right? And so Scar was like, oh yeah, like they're gonna pay, they're gonna pay 50 bucks or a person or, or $100 per person to go clean this house. So my mom made me go, she's like, go, we can get some money. Like, what are you doing here? You're being lazy, blah, blah. So we go and that was like the, oh my God, I, trenches, 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 trenches. We didn't have a car, okay? So we had to ride the bus. That was my first time on a public bus in Austin. And it was my last time. I never did it again. I get on the bus with my sister. We pay whatever. We're sitting there. They had to stop us because there was like a freaking homeless man on there screaming and yelling. And I was traumatized. And so we go to this house. And like we're it's a bunch of guys and they're like yeah they're doing construction and i was like yeah we need the house clean and so we go and we clean or whatever and i'll never forget like so we didn't take anything to eat nothing to drink and then we we're just we went to go clean i was so wetting i was really scrubbing them walls y'all like i was doing anything and everything to get my hundred so scar was fucking mopping the floor right with an old ass mop like you know the vintage mop that's what i'm gonna say because nowadays we got the swiffer we got the freaking the old cedar the whatever the fuck it's called so an OG mop, it was dirty as hell. She got it. She's cleaning or whatever. Um, she's, you know, Latas Primiendo where like she's fucking shaking it out or whatever, like squeezing it out. And, you know, all we there, all there was was sink car. We were sweating. And so I'll never forget, bro. Like I was like, and this is just me. There's nothing wrong with it. Like if you're thirsty, you're thirsty. But me, I just can't do, I'd rather fucking not drink water than drink tap water i grew up drinking tap water y'all and i just I, I refuse to do it I re, it just it don't taste right you and that's why when i go to a restaurant and they give me water i know where this water came from don't you dare disrespect me like that so it was tap water right and so she's 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 fucking yeah ring yeah you go where she's ringing out the mop and it's dirty mop water right so she's ringing it out and then she like whatever she gets her hand right and then she gets the fucking water from the faucet and then she goes like that. i'm like you just had dirty mop water in your fucking hand and she went down and she drank it because she was thirsty like it was hot as hell and i was like and like and i didn't tell i didn't say nothing i didn't tell her nothing but i was just like like i would like yo me estaba aguantando el pinche like to gag because i was like girl you thirsty you thirsty thirsty and i guess i wasn't that thirsty y'all i wasn't that thirsty to do some shit like that and there's nothing wrong with that but i just i was so fucking grossed out and i had i had never seen some shit like that and the thing is i couldn't be bougie it's not bougie but i couldn't i couldn't like say anything or even tell anybody how i felt because everybody like bitch we're like literally we're like what are we I, i've always been in the trenches like in a sense of like i guess poor so i guess that you know I had no right to even feel that way, I guess. But yeah, that shit took me out. But stuff like that, stuff like that gets me, y'all. Like, I get grossed out. Reminiscing our trenches memories just his different today. It does. It does. But it makes you crafty. It makes you real crafty. I'll tell you that much. It makes you crafty. But it is what it is. It is what it is. But I'll never forget. I'll never forget those fucking times. Do y'all remember when we went to fucking, um, what was it called? Las Mangonadas. And then everybody thought I had food stamps. But see, you have more windows, so you probably won't use indoor lights as much because the natural light. Yeah, that's what Huckleboy was saying. For sure. I don't need the lights on. The fan, maybe. But yeah. I fucking did. Or when you touch your face or when you scratch the inside corner of your eye and you stop and think, oh my God, are my hands clean? Yup. I'm always washing my hands. That's why my shit be dry as hell. Like my cuticles and stuff. Couldn't be me. I just can't. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. I know this is like a random ass live, but I was like, I need to show them already. And I took advantage of Uncle wasn't here because he been stressing me on. Hey, Bessie, I be acting like this and have to be medicated for OCD. <laughs> Nah, it's rough. It's fucking rough. Yesterday, uh, me, bro, this morning, I need food stamps. I'm going through it same. When I was nine, we moved to a city next door. The apartment was bigger, and I thought it was fancy, but it was another ghetto street. <laughs> no, Bessie, being poor doesn't mean you are dirty. At my poorest, I wouldn't wring a dirty mop within my own hands. Yeah. Have you seen or met your neighbors? I have not. We don't have neighbors here yet. We only have neighbors upstairs and downstairs. But, like, around me, no, not yet. No, 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 I've just always been like that. 
And it's dumb. Because, like, I guess it's very classist. How do you say? El pinche clasismo de yo. De me not wanting to fucking... I feel like I could never say how I felt when I was younger. Because my mom would have been like, bitch, the fuck? We in the trenches. Don't act like that. But yeah. And then my dumb ass, I've never had a steel refrigerator. Let me, mi momento más humilde, besties. This is, this is out of my comfort zone. I'm just used to the fucking trenches. And I'm used to my white refrigerator. I didn't know. Then tell me if I'm wrong. Besties, the bougie besties, let me know. Or not even, it's not even about bougie Well, to me, it is because I had a white refrigerator. But the besties who know about cleaning and you got a steel refrigerator, Please explain to me why I got this, right? I bought this and I used it on the damn fridge and then it didn't look good. So Hakobo had to come over here and buff it out. And I was shook. I didn't know what I was doing. Hakobo was trying to record me. I was like, stop, I'm embarrassed. But is this not it? Was I not supposed to buy this? What do you use to clean that? Because I thought it was this. And it just no lo dejó bien a bien. Oh, it does say polish. You have to use a damp microfiber rag with it. That's what I was thinking. It says polish. I'm so dumb. You have to clean going with the metal. Yes, that's it, but you need a microfiber. I knew it. I knew it best. I go like, no, you don't. No, you don't. I knew it. I fuck. You fucking knew. Yes, a microfiber. I knew it. That's how you know. I use wipes. They had the wipes there too, but I didn't get it. I didn't know. Use vinegar clean wipes. Some Windex. Microfiber. Okay. Yep, good old microfiber will do it. Embarrassing. I'm telling y'all. Because I don't know. Well, there's that. But I ain't, I ain't ashamed to admit it. I did not know. So I just, I use, I use that to clean it. Same for the edges of your microwave, Bestie. Okay. And make sure the microfiber cloth is for stainless steel. It recently learned each color is for certain things. Oh, besties, do you think it's disrespectful if I allow my son to get box braids? Because I've seen um, TikToks of people saying it's only for the race. I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't know, bestie, to be honest. I ain't going to lie. I see a lot of Latinos, um, when they have long hair, they get it in braids like that. Here's the thing. Okay. I don't want to speak for the black community, but I feel like they fucks with us. So I feel like it only applies to other people. You know what I mean? I feel like we get like a, uh, they, they, they give us a hall pass for stuff like that. But also, I don't know. I don't know. Those wipes, but they're also not good. The best thing I've seen is already scrub daddy paste and scrub daddy scrubber and wipe them. Okay, I'll do that. The little vinegar or spray away stainless steel cleaner and polish. Okay, say less. Say less. I'll do that then. Because, yeah, I feel like they give us a, a hall pass on a lot of stuff. And I feel like, you know, because we are also people of color. But I don't know. I would ask first. Maybe. Honestly, that's a question for TikTok. Look it up. on. I'm pretty sure somebody has asked and they probably like, we don't care. Because I feel like you're doing it in a respectful way. You know what I mean? Probably don't do it just to be safe, though. You never know. Use Dawn Power Spray. As a Puerto Rican, my hubby gets them no problem. How was your day going, girl? It's so beautiful. So it is beautiful. I'm inside just chilling. I'm really, I'm actually really tired. My fucking legs hurt and my back still hurts. Use your hot breath and a paper towel. Don't forget where you came from. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's a protective hairstyle. So if the hair texture is similar, then he can. Uh -huh. I don't know. I would ask. I would ask like TikTok or something. Because they quick. They quick to go in there and be like, no, don't do it. Yes. You know. Let him best in. My son gets his hair braided all the time. I just... I just heard dish soap and a microfiber clean stainless steel. Yeah. I need to wash these damn dishes, but I don't feel like doing it right now. I need to bring my scrub daddy dispense thing too. Because that whole Dawn thing, it's not, it's not doing it for me. And the dishwasher will not be used. I'm sticking to my roots. I'm sticking to what I know. I don't know how to use a dishwasher. I've never used one in my life. I'm not going to start now. Okay. You could take the girl out of the hood, but you cannot take you cannot take the hood out of the fucking girl. So I won't use that. I'm telling you right now. I'll store my my wet dishes in there, but am I gonna turn that bad boy on? No, I'm not. I use my dishwasher for storage. I've never used. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it. It looks really nice, but I'm not gonna use it. 
Bestie, get the green microfiber cloth I just shed. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. I'm going to buy some tomorrow. This washers use a lot of water. I just feel like I clean them. Yeah, I need to get in there and scrub that shit. Please use it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it one time to show y'all. Imagine I flooded my apartment because I don't know how to use it. I've never used one, straight up. Never in the fucking Evers. If you ever get stains on the walls, use Zep wall cleaner. Plus a water bowl would be high with a dishwasher, true. Use it to steam broccoli and baked potatoes like those crazy people do. Oh my gosh. Did y'all ever see that one video on TikTok where somebody put their toilet seat in the dishwasher? Disgusting. You have to use it at least once in a while because if not, it will start smelling bad. <gasps> For real? Damn it. Am I going to be forced into using it? Run a cycle every once in a while, Bessie, or else they smell. Dead ass. I was supposed to quit smoking today but i'm finding it so difficult i know it's it's all in the mindset and if and i'm in control but i'm struggling it's hard bestie that's that's a hard advice to, to fuck a bad habit to it's a hard habit to kick stop i didn't know that well dad bestie maybe use it once a week maybe i'll use it once every two weeks i'll fucking put that shit on twice a month because i'm Yes, do it at least once every month. Oh, once a month, yeah. Say less. I'll put a bunch of dishes in there, do it once a month, yeah. Yeah, how's everybody doing? What I can't wait. Get the risa que no podemos tirar veneno. But, you know, we don't need the bad vibes. It's not racist. The generation is so full of shit. I'm running my dishwasher right now. The people I used to work for put their dog dishes with their dishes. If you don't use it, it will smell. Yes, run this for at least once a month to keep it from smelling and add a baking soda box inside. Okay, you don't want it to get moldy. Okay. Okay. <sighs> See, this is, y'all are very helpful, Bestie, because I don't know. But yeah, this is where I'm at. What a stressful ass fucking week. On This weekend was fucking wild. Oh yeah, but y'all's dad, y'all, y'all's dad? Like, honestly, it won't, oh. Watch you, yeah, well, watch me just put everything in there. No, Jacobo has been fucking. So this morning, okay, this morning, last night we got home late. We got home late because we were over here cleaning and doing a bunch of stuff over here. And so we get we get to the old apartment and we got Jack in the box. Hey, Alex, happy one year. Thank you for one year of laughs and tears. Definitely worth it. Congrats on your apartment. Thank you, bestie. Veneno, it is. It is oh, and so, um, so he made me mad, y'all, because I told him. I woke up at six to shower, okay? I showered, I got ready to bring, I brought my clothes in like the trash bag. I was like, hey, cause I put the trash bag up, tie it up and then bring them, right? So I had everything ready. He woke up at like seven. I had to be here at the apartment at eight because the Wi-Fi people were coming to put in my Wi-Fi. I said, I need to be there at eight. And he was barely at 7.20 taking a shower. I said, we need to motherfucking go. And so we literally were pushing it, y'all. We were pushing it. We got here to the new apartment at like 8, 15. And as soon as we got in here, knock on the door that the cable guy was coming in. I was like, I'm, ooh, I was so mad. I was like, bro, if I would have missed it and had to reschedule, I would have. He made me so mad. But he been doing shit like that. Like he's like, ah, oh, it is what it is, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like right now, I don't know. So we're supposed to, we should be moving the rest of the damn furniture. He's like, the truck needs an oil change. So yeah, yeah, so that's what it is, that's what it was, and it's just stuff like that that upsets me. This is not a surprise she didn't, whoever, mm, it's a full moon bestie, he just be making me mad. The rag you use will break it or make it, okay. Yeah, and then, so we didn't have nothing right, and then he was like, so the bed, <laughs> I was laying on the bed, right? We got it yesterday, and um, we like we left it open or whatever so that it can, but I can see flatter. And so today it should be good. And so I went to go lay down to test it out or whatever. He's like, let's test it out. I guess they're not. This is the last thing on my mind right now. Sir, you know your truck needed an orange. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. He's just too fucking much. And right now they go, do what you gotta do. He's supposed to be bringing the rest of my clothes, my shoes. And I told him to bring me at least a load so I could do a load here. Hey, Gina, happy 10 months. 
I used one nice antibacterial moisturizer. Like, mm, she did it for the mm, bestie stone. I mean, honestly, you know, it is what it is. No, what I was gonna say though, it's not, it's not tirar veneno. It's not the tirar veneno, but it's just um, it, it, what was I gonna say earlier? Whenever like my shit froze, um, I was gonna say that basically, like, she has a special gift, okay, in a sense of like, she could do no wrong. And I feel like if that was me with my supporters, y'all would have caught me out on my shit, bestie. Like, if that was me, like, doing some shit like that to y'all and just disappearing and promising this and promising that and then not cumpliendo con mis promesas, bro, y'all would have fucking ripped me a new one. My besties hold me accountable, for sure. And I feel like I, would, I couldn't get away with what she gets away with, a thousand percent. So, I don't know, she got a special gift and she got special supporters because... Yeah. I messed up one time. I messed up one time when I forgot to let y'all know that I was going to do a, um, a regular live. Uh, and I went out with uh, Mime. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't let them know. I had to go apologize. I was like, I apologize. It was just last minute. And I went and I'm sorry. It's true. Yeah, no, y'all would have called me out. A thousand percent, I would have been called out. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to show face. I'd be so embarrassed. Like, Yeah, I let y'all know. Sorry, but I would definitely be tripping out if you did that shit time and time again. Yeah. No, I don't think y'all would call me out for it. Should I make a coffee? I haven't even tried an espresso. How do I make it though? If y'all most mm -hmm. we were worried that day. No, for real. I don't know, y'all. It's cabrón. La neta está cabrón. But you know, cabrón. I want to see you cabrón eating some cheese. I won't make a coffee because I haven't had one yet here. Let's see. I'm gonna make one. Should I make a cold one or a hot one? I kind of want a cold one. All I have is this mug. <laughs> we'll use this one. Um, I'm gonna use. I don't even know what those flavors are, but a lot of best is to get the sweet vanilla. So we're gonna do that one. I'm drinking coffee with a corn shot. I know. Ew, you know who I feel? Deadass, I'm gonna start. <laughs> you know how I feel? I don't have eyes. <gasps> how am I gonna make it? I don't even have eyes. I don't have eyes yet. You know who I feel? I feel like Shardy, y'all. When she be going live on TikTok, she just be doing random. Y'all going, ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait to be chopping up my chicken and then put my vegetables on top too. And y'all gonna be like, this, this girl. Oh, where's it? How do you take it out? I made one for um for Hakobo. Bessie, hey, love the new place. I'm at the dealership You're trying to get a new wig. Y'all heard me. <gasps> good vibes, good vibes. I'm supporting after this weekend. I'm done with her. Who's the bestie that is after this? I need to go with that. Bestie, it's okay. But here's the thing. Like, I feel. Honestamente, it's a lot. Look, let me just play. How do you say it? Maybe check manage. Maybe check management. Turned it on. Turn what on? Oh no, I have to do it. I have to do something. I need to clean it out. But I just want to make sure that it's clean. Be sure to run it if it's store wet dishes because it grows mold. Oh, the thing. So I'm gonna use a sweet vanilla. Let me show you. So I guess that's how you do it. And then you lock this bitch. Oh, loud as hell. I do have like cold creamer though. Okay, wait for that. I have like cold creamer. I don't have any ice though. Nice. Yeah, preview of the morning vlogs. It better be good too. Stick it in the freezer. Mmm. You're right. I'll put it in the fridge. Oh, I was gonna say, just 
My Elena, happy five months. God is God all the time. Blessings to all. Thank you, bestie. What a minute thing. When it comes to, um, let's get over here. She, she kind of loud. <laughs> she kind of loud. When it comes, hi, besties. We're making a little, oh, hey, Ariana. She a little loud or whatever. I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it cool down. You're absolutely right. Didn't even think about that. I love it. Turn off your bedroom fan. It's, yeah, I did turn it off. I have the living room one on. How excited are you to vlog? I'm very excited. I can't wait to start doing morning vlogs. Is your refrigerator have ice? It does, but I haven't put any water in there. Like, I haven't, like, done it yet. Purr, that was nice. Bessie, is your fridge? Oh, that's what I do. I just add cold creamer. I'll put it in the fr Let's put it in the freezer. Oh, you got it, girl. Okay. We'll put it in the fridge for now. Let it cool down. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. I put it in there for now. Let's let it cool off. My Nespresso machine is loud too. Yeah, Nespresso for how much they charge for those damn machines? I need y'all to quiet it down, girl. I'm gonna need y'all to go. I'm gonna need y'all. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Um so um yeah so when it comes to you know what i mean peaches look not to like get in for her or nothing like that or not to like but i think it's hard i think it's really hard being on social media and i think it's really hard it just sucks that like um i think it's hard enough when you're on social media i see and then i feel like maybe when you you know you you carrying a, a whole you know what I mean? Another person in you. I think it might even be harder. I think lo que la chinga ella es el orgullo. Um, y es el, you know. It's, it's el orgullo. That's, that's, that's simply what it is. But, I mean, like I said, to the besties who, who have been here, like, hey, go support her. Go enter. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Like, no pasa nada. I've never been against my besties being her besties. Sometimes I've seen y'all in there, you know what I mean, supporting her. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, I can understand, too, how I would feel. If I'm saying, like, if I did some shit like that, I know y'all would call me out and y'all be upset and y'all would, like, probably unsubscribe and be like, nah, fuck that, I'm not doing it no more. So um, I get it. I get both sides. But, I mean, it's hard. But who knows? I'm sure she has a perfectly valid reason as to why. I don't know. I don't know what she promised, but, Yeah. I'm a crazy coffee, but I'm breastfeeding and don't want the baby to be tweaking. <laughs> Just got on lunch. Per. Not bestie. What are you praying? True. I'm so happy I found you for it. Your apartment agree, but sometimes when I see vlogs of the house, um, if the house, when I, oh, if in the house looks too nice, I'm like, hmm, can I even relate? I know you earned it, bestie. Much love. Yeah, like, I'm not afraid to say, um, Hey, it's been, it took us 10 years just because of like everything that we have been through and everything that we were doing. Like, it's not easy. It's not easy. Turn on the ice maker and throw away the first ice it makes in the next 24 hours just to make sure it's clean. Okay. That's what I was thinking. That's why I was like, I don't, I don't know. I've never had a fridge like that. I'm used to white refrigerators. Where most of the though, her muscles are in there. Damn it, damn it. Yeah. Which is why, you know, and it's hard. No. And then like, honestly, I can't even like, it's crazy to um i think yeah who knows who knows chelly honestly but i think um it's just a little bit more relatable in a sense of like y'all saw me in the trenches and i've never been afraid to be in the trenches like i've lived there my whole life the oil is get i know i can't i need to clean it out how do i clean it out i got some straw things i'm trying to clean them out i just don't trust it and then i'll put my oil in there out of cancel membership is going hey that's valid that's valid bestie i completely understand completely get it um but yeah it's hard like me personally when i first was on tiktok and i was watching like it's 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 crazy how influencers do influence you have to give them credit for that me personally i don't know you know what i mean i should be doing shit but for sure like a lot of them i would see and i'm like damn one day i'm gonna live like that one day you know what I mean? and right now i don't i don't necessarily think that i'm living like that i think that um best i live in the trenches but once you step inside you forget where you at <laughs> and it's um when i but the reason i say trenches was because i was in the hood okay and before that i was in the hood and before that i lived in the country but it wasn't like 
it was never, never in my life have I ever given myself like rich, richness or lived richness. I've always lived, I don't mean the mente. And yes, Jacobo is always in the main uh, provider, but like honestly, I feel like we would have lived like this a long time ago had we, if I didn't have to worry about Jacobo's papers. Jacobo's papers took fifteen to twenty thousand dollars out of his pocket. Not me, because I didn't pay for that. You know what I mean? That he paid for it himself, but that's a lot of money. Like fifteen to twenty thousand, it's a lot. And then like everything, because he also, it's not just him like paying my bills here. He also helps his mom. He sends his mom money. He looks after his aunt. Um, cuando le toca, him and his brothers take turns when it comes to their aunt. So he pays for her stuff um, every couple of months, and then whatever his mom needs. Um, he also has land in Mexico that he has to like take care of, and and like there's an upkeep when it comes to that. We have some more land over there. Um, and it's just like, there's a lot of stuff going on. I have, we have some stuff going on here too, but we're just not ready for a house. We're not ready for a trailer yet. It's really expensive. Um, it's just, there's so much stuff that goes into it right now. Hey, Paloma, thank you, bestie. Um, right now, we just have other stuff to focus on. I don't expect much. That's why I don't enter. I want to turn tap, tap. That's about it. Y se respeta. Se respeta. Hi from Dallas, Bestie. Hi from Dallas, uh, Paloma. Thank you, Bestie. So, you know, I feel like go at your own pace. I really don't care. I've never been like, como te diré? I've never been, like, I've seen stuff on social media. I've seen people living their lives, and, I, and I've always been like, I want that. And I've always given myself little mini luxuries here and there. Like, you guys have seen, like, well, I'll buy, I'm always at TJ Maxx, or I'm always at Marshalls. And that's not even luxury. That's just regular shopping, right? Because there's people who actually, you know, live that way, which good for them. That's not in our tax bracket. Well, not in mine, at least, you know what I mean? It's not in my tax bracket to go and buy a Louis Vuitton or, like, I don't know, this and this and that, right? Our trailer finance like homes. Yes, they are. And my mom, Ludris, says, congratulations on your part. Thank you, Ludris. Thank you. Muchas gracias. And so I've just never been like, like, oh, I need to have this. Or I need to have that. I've always been comfortable. And honestly, like, we, we were comfortable in the trenches. But it was just time to, like, upgrade. It was time to get a bigger place just because I feel like I need my own space when it comes to content creating and, like, doing lives and stuff. Especially because I want to further. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do. But... I mean, take your time. I, I can't stand... Here's the thing. Comparing yourself to other people on social media and comparing their lives to yours, it, it always just makes you feel shitty, Bessie. And that was me. It low-key still is me when it comes to anything. Like, you always have little cosas, and I'm just like, oh, I wish I had that. Or, oh, I wish, you know... But it's, it's never good. It's never good. You you have to be content with what you have. Because at the end of the day, así como uno tiene, a ver, así como Dios da, también Dios quita. Well, that's what I believe. So I just feel like I'm going to live in the moment type of gal. And wherever I am, wherever the wind takes me, that's where I'm going to be. Yeah, live within your means. Andale. And that's the thing. Like, realistically, could, like, realistically, could we go get a home or could we go get a trader? Absolutely. But I'm going to be apretada, like apretada, apretada in a sense of like, fuck, like I can't do anything. And what's the point? What's the point of that? Like, I don't know. I just feel like we don't have kids. We don't have anybody really depending on us, just how, like Jacobo and his, and his mom. But like, that's to me, that's, that's what he needs to do regardless. So I don't know. I just feel like I I think the only thing that probably keeps me from living this way in a sense of like I shop a lot and I probably spend my money um, irresponsibly is because I don't have kids. Like, I feel like that's probably why I don't do it. Because if I had kids, for sure, I wouldn't be doing all this shit. For sure, I would make sure that my kids are good and I would make sure everything, all my money would go to them. But because, and also like if I'm viviendo pobremente, if I'm living in the trenches, at least tengo la conciencia, like, you know what I mean? If I don't eat, I don't eat. That's on me because I didn't go work. Or that's on my man because he didn't go work and he didn't provide for me. That's on us. You know what I mean? Um, but that, that's, only, that's probably why I'm irresponsible. It's better to live below your means because you never know an emergency. Yeah, that too. Honestly. And so um, the trenches is our home. It still is. Like in a sense, if I ever had to go back to living in the trenches, I'd be fine with it. Honestly. Like I'm, I've been used to it. <sighs> yeah. I'm used to it. Um, it's not that you, that you love it, but te acostumbras. Te acostumbras. Girl, we don't have kids. Been bought a home 18 years ago, and I still have. And yeah, it just it just depends on everybody's income. Not everybody makes the same amount of money. Not everybody works in the same field. It's it's a lot. Todo tiene que ver. But I just think it's and that's what a lot of people do. Um, best I know kids are not for you, but I think you'd be a great mom. Hey, you never know. Imagine. Okay, no, I don't know, best. I don't think I could. Um. 
You can't miss what you don't have. True. Bessie, will you keep the video up? Um, yes, I will be up. Todo es posible, Bessie. Tienes potencial. Solo es que te propongas. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I'm a very bad spender. And I've always been like that. Like, I buy bullshit. Um, I feel like this has been a huge... Honestly, this has been a huge wake-up call for me, besties. I'm going be, to keep it 100 with y'all. And I know y'all love my vlogs where I go to TG Maxx and I go to Marshalls and I see all of that stuff. Um, I like it too. But this was so stressful because the amount of stuff that I gave away, the amount of stuff that I donated, the amount of stuff, like I was like, I have a problem. And to be honest, not, and I love Brooke, okay? Brooke the shopaholic, I love her, but I saw her room where she has like a whole other room in her house and she has nothing but like pink stuff and like a bunch of stuff. Bro, I would, I, it's like I had an epiphany or I saw myself. I was like, bro, that's gonna be me. If I don't stop, that's going to be me. And that to me is overwhelming because realistically, who needs all that stuff, right? And that was me moving. I was, and Jacob was like, you have a lot of stuff. Like, and I was like, I know. And I was like, I do not need any of this. The stuff that like, had, que me han regalado, of course, I have it in storage. A lot of that stuff, cups, um, what I got for like my birthday, all that's in storage. That I cannot throw away because, you know, it was a regalo. But the stuff that I personally bought, I was like, no. Yeah, given hoarder. And I was like, that's going to be me. And so I was like, no, 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 no. I can't do this. Yeah, if you do less shop with me and more cook with me, I don't mind. I'm rocking with you. Yeah, I probably will shop. But I think I, I feel like I'm going to start saving my money and shop with stuff that I actually need. Not just random shit. Having all material things doesn't truly make you happy. It messes with your mental health because of all it. Yeah, and this is the thing. I'm going to be I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm going to be so vulnerable, besties. What shopping does for me, it's like, what is it called? I don't know the correct terminology, but it makes me happy um, in the moment when I see something, I'm like, oh, I like this and I want it. it it's almost like, here's, here's my problem, okay? Yeah, overconsumption and all that. So my problem is, as a child, um, when, once I hit my teens, like, I feel like there was so much stuff that I wanted and I couldn't have. And um, I always promised myself that as an adult, that like I would spoil myself in a sense. You know what I mean? And I've always been like that too with like Hakobo. If I tell him that I want something, he'll give it. And I know he's going to get it for me type of shit. And so then when I started working, I started making my own money. It's almost like, because when you kind of grow up poor, I guess poorness, middle class, whatever you want to call it. When you grow up like that and you, like I say, you know what? I work hard for my money. Um... I can buy this. It's almost like it's me. How do I say? It's me giving myself credit. Almost. It's me hyping my own stuff up, saying, bitch, you are an adult and you make money and you are blessed to be able to spend the money how you want it. And so that's what gets me every time. It's like, okay, you know what I mean? I can buy this because I have the money in my account because I work. So why not support? I'm, I, I guess I abuse the treat yourself. That's what I do. I abuse it where I'm like, treat yourself. You work hard, bitch. Get that. Like, that's what you want it. You can buy it. And just, and that's the thing I need to stop. Just because I have the money because I work doesn't mean that I should use the money on that. At that and then I instantly, I get guilt so fucking bad, especially the times that I've gone to Mexico because I'm like, fuck, this money could have gone towards something else. This money could have gone towards a family gathering. This, You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. And it's just like, now I'm starting to see what money equals, if that makes sense. Like now you'll see the pencil. Like I've always, always, I've always told you I want to get me, I want to buy myself a luxury bag. And I, but then I think about it and I've always been close. I like realized that I could have bought me one already with the amount of money that we're spending on moving. But then I go back to like that much money on a bag to probably use a couple of times. And the fit ain't even going to eat, bitch. Like realistically, I could buy a luxury bag and I'll still look dumb because I don't have the rest to match or something. And it's like, that money can go to something else. Like, when you start figuring out how much stuff costs and you equal it to other stuff, like, it's like, okay, you know what? Yeah, it's just a want and it's not a need. And so this, the rest of this year, because I already kind of fucked up in the beginning. The rest of this year, especially moving in here, I don't want to fill it up. Like, old me, which I'm, I'm going to try and say old me, because who knows if I really changed, besties. Old me sees all these cabinets and I want to fill them up. But not no more. I want to keep them empty. There's no need to have anything in there. I don't need anything. I, I only, you know, all my Stanleys, I'm going to get rid of them straight up. Just give me some time to go through my collection. My Starbucks cups too. That's, oh, let me calm down. That stresses me out so fucking bad. It stresses me out so bad 
with the Stanleys that I have and the fucking Starbucks cups. That's why I only brought these cups. Those are my cups that I'm going to fucking use. I might bring one Stanley over, but that's it. But I don't need any of that. It's too much. It's too much. And at the end of the day, I can't. Another thing about how many hours of work that it costs. Yeah, I haven't thought about that. That hasn't hit yet. But for sure, when you think about money and you put it towards something else, you're like, yeah. Keep your Starbucks. I'm going to see. But the Starbucks, they're in storage. They're in, they're in a, a plastic bin. But it just stresses me out because I'm like, bro, why did I get all that? And it's make it make sense. We think we have the money, but how many hours did we work to have it? Exactly. Okay, minimalist queen. <laughs> I think this upgrade is going to help kick that um, spending habit because you see the potential spending. Yeah, that's what it is. I, I just, there's so much other stuff. Do giveaways, Bestie. I might do that, honestly. I just need to go and see what I have. Um, but some of the stuff is used. If y'all are okay with used stuff, I'll do a giveaway. I don't care. Okay, I can never understand why people collect so many cups. My daughter does it. I just don't get it. I don't know. It's because, to be honest, let me tell you why. And I'm going to go back to TikTok. I, the, the reason I even started when it came to cups, I saw this girl. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have her video saved on TikTok. But you behave. You better behave. She, what she would do is that like, so she had a different Starbucks cup and she had a different tote bag. So she would do a Starbucks cup, like she would do her fit chains for work, right? And she would have, her Starbucks cup would match her Marc Jacobs tote bag. And that inspired me to be like, I need that. I need a cup to match my bag now. Not necessarily Marc Jacobs, but I need my cups to match my bag. So the fit is fitting when I go shopping at Marshall's. You know what I mean? And that's what, that's what kicked it. That's what started it. That's what fucking fueled. That's where my addiction, that's, that's where I got my fix was that video. And then I started watching Brooke. Y'all remember I, I think I fucking tagged her in one of my videos where I was like, I was obsessed with how she would organize her wallet and her keychains and all. I was like, I want to do that. I want all my stuff to be organized and I want it to be like that. And then I saw how like it really got out of hand for her. Not going like no tea, no shade. I love her, but it did get out of hand. Um, and I just don't want to end up like that. I like to have all kinds of cups to match my outfits. If that makes me happy, let me be. No, and that, that's how I was too. But right, right now, I'm over it. I might get back on it though. I'll try not to relapse though. Don't make me <laughs> mental illness. Trish, get out. Trish, get out right now. I don't need the negativity. Trish, get out. I don't need that negativity right now. I've been collecting cups since I was a little girl. It's like a reward. It is like a reward. As it fucking should be. You think my coffee's cold yet? Girl, I could barely match my clothes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, make it fucking make sense. Are you cold yet, girl? No, she's still hot. But you know what? It might be with the camera. It might, it might get. Yeah, so that's me. And that's what's triggered everything. And I need to do better. I realize that. I'm a t-shirt and jean shorts type of gown trying to become. No, I want to start. And here's the thing too. Also, when it comes to clothes, I buy statement pieces. I need more casual fits. Straight up besties. I need it. This year, I'm going to try and invest more in my wardrobe. For, no, we don't need more cups. We're gonna be hoarding. Yeah, I'm I'm done with it right now. I'm honestly done. But we'll see, because y'all know I'll be lying to you. Y'all know I'm a pack water bowl. Just kidding. I'm a liar. The liars be lying sometimes. You know damn well the lies, they be lying. Let's see here. Let's see what this coffee's giving. If it ain't giving nothing, guess who getting slapped? Everybody. Wait, love pathological. <laughs> Bitch. where do you shop at i struggle to buy nice clothes um i usually go to target i go to target ross marshall's like i be buying from there oh that's nice
Okay. Wow. I'm kind of shook. You know what this tastes like, low key? It low key is giving the Cafe 88 in Veracruz. Like, it's that good shit. Like, it's that, like, organic coffee. Or, like, it's just. But it's like, where is it from, JK? That's a test. Don't tell us. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to tell you where I got this cup from. Yeah, the only the only Starbucks cups uh, that I honestly use are the insulated ones. I've been telling you, Cabecito at home is different now. It tastes good. This cup, I got it. So there was this girl. Her name is Mel. Mel Shops on TikTok. And she was, uh, she does the live shops or whatever. She charges a finder fee. And I saw this cup on her live and I bought it from her. We're going to do reviews on everything. Yeah, so this Nespresso one. It's this one, besties. This is good. And all I did, so I did this. This is what they look like. It's a sweet vanilla. I grind my beans and use an old school espresso machine. You think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Get out. Do, do you want me to help you? And then I use a silk vanilla creamer. And it was a, it's amazing. It tastes really, really good. So I got Jacobo, the Mexico one. That's what it's called, I think. I don't fucking know. Oh, Mexico, Mexiki, Mexiki. I got Jacobo these, and he said they were strong as hell. And y'all already know he likes his, his, his coffee with no creamer, no nothing. So, um... That nail though, <laughs> I need to do my. Oh, I'm changing my nails too. Is that flavor good? I've been wanting it. Yeah. Yes, Betsy. Sorry, but you have cuter cabinets. <laughs> oh, getting espresso has saved me so much money. Yeah. So that's gonna be my new thing. Um, and then these nails, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some short nails now. I'm going short vibes because I'm gonna start doing cooking lives, and I can't have these claws. So we're going short. I'm a whole new bit. I'll go back to long ones eventually, but let me get in my cooking era. And then once we've established it, oh, also disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer, I'm not a cook. I think there are orange pods called Odasi or something like that. It isn't as strong. Oh, okay, I'll get him those. Bessie, go almond shape, game changer. You think? Bessie, get the grease cleanser for your soap top. It's a silver and red bottle. It works hella good. I use it on my soap top. Okay. How much was the coffee machine? I got it on sale for a hundred and 50 but it came with martini glasses so so this nespresso it's a, it's the pink pop one okay um it's i paid 180 total but because i also ordered the the, uh, the other pods but it came with two packets of um coffee free and it came with two martini glasses free with that machine so i got it on sale for like 150 it was the bundle I'm here for this new chapter in my senior. Yeah, I'm gonna be my senior. Oh yeah, but um, I'm a bad spender too. I'm a Taurus. I heard Taurus either hoard money or by all means they are bad at spending. I have one daughter. I don't want another because me and her still it would get spoiled. Yeah, I heard the Tauruses need to save their money though. That's what we need to do. The last thing I'm spending money on is my damn desk and maybe a computer. But Hakobo has a Best Buy card, and I think I'm gonna tell him to get my computer, my laptop, on his Best Buy card. Oh yeah, but I can't cook. Let me disclaimer. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer before y'all come for me. Because I feel like y'all think I'm gonna, it's gonna give, um, you know, Ana Raquel. It's gonna give Silvana. It's gonna give, um, you know, who else cooks? Savannah, happy six months, bestie. Thank you. Um, I'm, not, I'm not them. Hey, bestie, I know you previously had already said no, but will you eventually make an Amazon wish list for your new place? Let's give us, really, I don't really need anything. I'm gonna be dead ass with y'all. I feel like if I did one, it'd probably be for like some scrub daddies. I would have been saying something for your beauty room. Oh, well, when the time comes, we could do something like that. I'll see. I'm getting an espresso and going on vacation in August, but after that, I'm saving. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm not any of those, the, you know, they're, they're not professional. I don't think they went to culinary school, but for sure they know how to cook. Those señoras know how to cook. I don't know how to cook. We're going to learn together. So this is going to be cooking with torta beginner's edition because I am not, I don't know how to cook. Yeah. We're going to learn together as a team. If the rice is messed up, guess what? That's not on me. That's on y'all. 
Do you have a theme for your beauty room? Or is it going to be main color? Pink. It's going to be just like my kitchen. Pink. Not everything pink. I'm going white, pink, and gold. Because I need to learn only. Yeah, we're going to start out with the basics. We're going to make some rice together, some beans. Um, then we'll, we'll go from there. How about we, I think, cooking with me, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make um, a cup of coffee. Oh, we actually, we just did that. We're good. We did that. Check that off the list. Let's blame Yoris for the rice. Yeah. And the first dish will be a torta just for the F of it. I'm gonna be just like shoddy, babe. Watch Julia Cocina. Yo aprendí de ella. She's simple. Watch. Oh, yeah, I like her. I like her a lot. I don't know what the first recipe is gonna be. If you mess up, we all mess up. Exactly. I'm not gonna leave y'all with y'all's ingredients. Um, you know what I mean? I'm gonna come on and we're gonna do it. It might be a shit show. And here's the thing it's gonna be so real. If I fuck up, we're still gonna eat it. If I mess up, we're still gonna eat it. And so that means you still have to eat it. I don't care. Jacobo will still be, I will record him. He's going to be fighting for his life, trying to swallow some hard ass enchiladas, but he's going to do it. He's going to do it. No, I want to make a carlota. Yeah, she showed me how to make bomb salsa. Among those his vecinas y alborotadas vecinas. No, I would never. Yeah, he'll do the taste test. Oh, and guess what? Am I the only one gonna be cooking? No, Jacobo will be in here. Yeah, he better compliment us. He gonna be in here. Y'all gonna see him in his damn mandilon thing and he gonna be chopping up stuff. You should make a bestie gift wall. Do a papaso a little next level torta cause bestie is out the trenches now. I need to learn making salsas. Please don't lick your fingers and touch those carlotas. Well, here's the thing. I will tell you this. If I do, nobody's gonna eat it but me and Jacobo. But I don't do that, to be honest. I've never done that. I don't, okay. This is, you know, ew. That's how Gobo, though. How Gobo will taste test stuff. Like, he makes me mad. So, I was like, when the, if I cook something, <laughs> if I cook something, <laughs> and it's already done, I'm just waiting to heat up the tortillas. How Gobo will go and fucking get a spoon. He won't put his finger in there, but he'll get a spoon and he'll just start eating it. I'm like, can you wait? But I don't think, I don't think I've ever did the finger or nothing. Please wash your hands. I'll wash my hands. It'll be on live. Y'all see. Y'all can call me out if I mess up. It's fine. But like I said, if I mess up, we mess up together. I said what I said. I'm not going down by myself. Y'all are going down with me. Yeah, I want to make a, car a strawberry carlota. I want to make un pay de queso, a cheesecake. I want to make... I'm going to be in my baking era. You know what it is, though? I don't think it's serví para la cocina, así como the cooking. I bet you I can make some good sweets, though. I'm lying. I might not be able to. But we're going to try it. We're gonna try it out either way. I need some chairs up in here, y'all. Yeah, I feel like I'd be better at baking. That's how my husband is too. Always picking up the food. I can't stand it. I just got message. Did you do a walkthrough already? I did. You can see part one. This is part two because some stuff was going on. Yeah. Crazy. I can already hear. Mm. There's none here though. I do want to do a churro cheesecake. Oh, you know what I want to try? Another one on here? Fuck it. When I was in HD, the cashier was so sweet. He was really, really nice. And um, he was fucking going fast as hell with all the stuff. No pots in the oven since we using it this time. Yeah. I've never, like, it's because my, my freaking, um, I will say I do like that about electric stoves. But at my old apartment, the gas stove, like, whenever I wanted to bake or, like, bake something or cook something in the oven it took forever and it would turn off and then turn back on like it's just uh, i'll be here to guide you along the way because girl i've got years of experience oh say less say less i just don't like cleaning after cooking well that'll be how couple so um yeah and he like you know they have to sell stuff there like in a sense they have to get you to buy i think they probably i don't know they're probably doing a competition or something of who can sell i don't know but he was trying to sell this to me right and so when i used to be a cashier you had to fucking sell these um and like you could get into like a comp they would do competitions or like you, you would potentially win a gift card um do it put it on the schedule so we can buy stuff yes no let me tell you we're gonna be organized when i say we're gonna bake something i'm gonna give y'all the ingredients and all that if y'all want to participate with me um but i'll be live doing it so i was like let me take these they're banana bread pecans it don't get more texas than this let's try them because i don't know 
I don't put pots in the oven when I get my own place. I'm breaking generation. <laughs> yeah, they're in, they're down there. I'm creating a banana, but yes, we can send pics too. But yeah, we can send pics. <gasps> you know what we should do? If we okay, if we're gonna be serious about the whole baking thing, you know what we should do? We should do um it'll be for regular liars for sure. And if the besties wanna join, like if you know, if you wanna join in on <gasps> okay, how am I I can't I'm not saying it right. Let's say I let's banana bread because that's what I have in front of me. Let's say we do banana bread. I post the ingredients, everything we're gonna need. What time we go live? We're gonna do it, and then we can submit pictures, and then we can vote who has the best looking banana bread, and then they can win something. They can win like a gift card or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's taste them. They fucking taste like banana bread. That's fucking crazy. How do they do that? Yes, I love it. Yeah. We'll do that for sure. How do they do that? Yeah, we can do that for sure. Get everybody participating. Mm-hmm. It probably going to be like a gift card or something. Does it feel like home night or do you need the rest of your stuff? It already feels like home, not gonna lie. It's just really sad, besties. Like when I go back to my old apartment and I'm looking at it, I'm like, fuck, so much shit happened here. And like, it's wild. Oh, Jack Campbell, I'm late. Bestie, not to make you spend, but can we get one of those for a giveaway? Oh, one of these? Y'all want a snack giveaway? I can do that. Y'all want, I can do a snack giveaway. Oh, because like not all the besties be in Texas, huh? I can do a snack giveaway for sure. We can get that rolling. Oh, how about that? We could do for like, so the first baking one, we could do a snack giveaway. Oh, we could just, well, we'll see. But yeah, I can put those in another giveaway. I've never really thought to do food, but I forgot. Texas does it better, huh? Yeah, Texas be Texasing. I know that. Seven snacks. No, my lucky number is 11. We're doing 11 snacks. Yeah, I can do a Texas snack giveaway. I want a stand mixer so bad for baking. Yeah, send some Texas ass things in a box. I totally want H-E-B stuff from Cali. H-E-B, be, it be H-E-B in y'all. I don't know if I could live in another, don't start with that mess. I don't know if I could live in another state that doesn't have H-E-B. Wait, well, let me go reset again real quick. Fuck my butt. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just waiting on Hong to get here. So y'all are going to be here with me. Bessie, where did you get the oil things beside you? So I got those from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I think it was Marshalls. They had a lot. They had, so it, it's two, it's a two-tone pink, but they also had a green, blue, and black. I'm still waiting on the Papa's Caseras giveaway. I need to go find some more. I want Bucky stuff. Bucky's que la bien lejos. I miss H-E-B butter tortillas. Dude, the to those are so fucking good. I need to buy a new toaster. My toaster oven fucking broke. Hot Cobble broke it. Bessie, get ready for the eclipse in Texas. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready. I don't even want to deal with any of that, honestly. I know like Walmart getting out of go. Um, apenas compré mandado. Did you see Michelle post that the best grocery store is H E B? Yeah, because she in Texas, of course, of course. No, I've never shopped for groceries anywhere else. I honestly had no idea. Did you already give a house tour? I did. If you go to part one, you can see the beginning, and then part two, it, uh, this one, start from the beginning. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I did. I had no idea that HEB was only in Texas for like the longest. I thought HEB was everywhere. And like when I had a family that would come down, they'd be like, "Oh, we just love HEB." I'm like, "You, you ain't got an HEB? The math ain't mathing." And then I know they have like what Trader Joe's. I don't even know who Joe is and what he be trading. And then uh, Whole Foods, I don't even know about that. That's too expensive. I, I've gone in there before. It's just too expensive. No, best we don't have H-E-B Sushi Wednesdays in Cali. Hey, no lie though. H-E-B Sushi, bitch, snaps. Like, honestly, a perfect date night. Y'all haven't seen TikTok. On TikTok, you just look up H-E-B Sushi. A good date night, bitch. You just go to H-E-B. They even have the fucking platters of sushi now. And they always have a damn coupon, 20% off. You get a big ass thing of sushi. You come home. Bessie, you need a ring light. I have one. Wait, do I have one? 
I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I do. And you just set it up. You put it on a, on a nice plate. You get some drinks. You have a little movie night with your sushi. It's so good. H-E-B has everything. Most H-E-Bs here in Texas also now have barbecue. Oh, so fucking good. So fucking good. I love H-E-B. I work there. Per. I don't know what you know to say. I'm in New York City. So, bro, New York is crazy. I was watching, bro, ever since, I think, I don't know, my, my phone be listening to me. Um, does Texas have Kroger? I don't know. I don't know. I know that um, we have Aldi. I had no idea we had Aldi here. I like shopping at Whole Foods. On Tuesday, they have deals, but their 365 brand is good and bread is $2.69. Hmm. My town don't even have a Sprouts. Oh, yeah, Sprouts are popping up everywhere. I'm excited. They make one down the street from me. Never been in one, but I keep hearing it's amazing. Yes. Oh, okay. So there's Kroger's. I didn't know that. I've never been to a Kroger's. I've never been to um to Aldi either. I heard Aldi is really good though. New Mexico doesn't have grocery stores like that. I want to go to Texas just to go to H-E-B and Bucky's. <sighs> yeah, I've never been to Aldi's. But Sprouts are popping up everywhere. Like I don't know what's going on with them, but they they coming and going. Yeah, Jovi's, stuff like this. You see about the only girls, the girl trip, and one of the girls only took $135. I've never done a trip like that. H-E-B is starting to sell cooked crawfish again, and the whole parking lot smells so good. Bro, that's what that shit was. Because, tell me why the fuck. <laughs> Yesterday, we're, we went into H-E-B just to buy random shit. We didn't get any groceries. I just needed some stuff to clean. And they had they were selling stuff outside, and it just smelled like a fucking swamp. I was like, what is this? And they was out there. I was like, damn. Good for them. You know what I mean? They're selling and whatnot. But I was like, oh, hell no. It smells so bad. I was like, where am I right now? But they they sell good shit. I like their uh, meal simples too. So basically they sell meals already like spaghetti, lasagna, um, shepherd's pie, stroganoff. They even like, I think, chili, like queso compuesto, a bunch, like a bunch of Italian food, Asian food, everything. And you put it in your oven or your microwave and it's, it's ready to go. They're like, they range from five to eight dollars and they're really good, y'all. Like, they're so good. I really like the shrimp Alfredo um, or the shrimp pasta. It's Shrek Swamps. <laughs> and you pop that bitch in the oven, it's so fucking good. So good. And I love their soups. You can't tell me nothing about HEB soup. You get a broccoli and cheddar soup with some cornbread. They have really good salads. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me tell you something right now. I had a Chick fil A salad today. Shook. I did not know that they were that fucking good. I got the Cobb salad with grilled chicken and some avocado lime dressing. Why didn't y'all tell me about that? Broccoli and cheddar soup scares me. Chorro for sure. It, it will give me chorro. Tell me why in Cali it's super expensive and they have low quality fruits and vegetables. I can't stand El Rancho, Mi Pueblito, stuff like that because the fucking, the, the produce is always shit. No, I, I like some at the whole. H-E-B has the best bean burritos deep fried. Mm -hmm. I couldn't live in a world without H-E-B. No, that salad was amazing. And what you didn't know best. I didn't know. I didn't know about the Chick-fil-A salad. Just wait till you try the Chick-fil-A breakfast mini chicken. I didn't know about the salad. I love the one with the salsa dressing. So good. Heard they charging the chicken they use. Heard they changing the chicken they use. <laughs> but there's the dance competitions at Owen Dallas. They be wild. I have. Now I gotta try Chick Fil A salad. It was really good, and it, if it's if it's fulfilling, the market salad is so good. But they just announced they're using chicken with antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a no no. Now I want that salad. No, it was so fucking good. Even Honkobo got salad. He was like, "That shit looks fucking good." I always get a spicy deluxe meal. Hey, that's on what? That's on that's your business. Yeah. Um, was Texas crazy yesterday with the whole Mexico game going on? I didn't even know. I was too busy moving, bestie. Wait, I've never had a Chick-fil-A salad. I had to drive to Lubbock for everything in ghetto. Really? I like watching this girl on the on TikTok that cuts the fruits and vegetables from H-E-B. Oh, yeah, because that orange juice be fresh. Have you tried the Whataburger one? It's real good. No, I haven't. She makes it look easy and fun. I would imagine. I mean, I don't buy easy, but fun for sure. We're going to die anyways. I'll eat the chicken. I guess. I feel like I probably should be late. I don't know if we're gonna eat here, 
I probably should be like low key cooking something. <laughs> I'm grieving because I love me some Chick Fil A, but I have to make my own. I'll just buy their lemonade and dressings. I'ma still fuck that chicken. Up. <laughs> uh, it's given. I probably should make something. What time is it? Do y'all have a meet the end that? No, I don't have a meet the end that. Uh, well, I don't. I've never seen one over here. Here for a good time. Like, we get it. H E B is top tier. Oh, us going on a whole rant about H E B. I don't think we're going to eat here, though. I think when Hong Kong gets here, because I don't have no car. I'm stuck here. He dead ass left me in our new apartment. He went to go do shit and move some stuff and take stuff to storage. So until he gets back, I'm here. I wonder if he's going to be hungry. He might be, huh? But it's given, what do I even make? DoorDash food. We had a tornado yesterday in the panhandle. Después de que nos andamos quemando. I want to be on y'all side of Texas. We only have United. <gasps> The panhandle scares me. I've never been to the panhandle. Chef Julia, activate. What would I even make? I don't even, I don't feel like I should. Me look, do you already know your new address by memory yet? No. It's giving tacos for dinner. I didn't take no meat out either. Just make him a, yeah, we have marucha. Actually, he's gonna eat a marucha or I can make him a torta. What are y'all making for dinner? I'm out of ideas. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not in my cooking area. I'm so tired. He gonna get a couple tacos and that's it. I'm starting my health lifestyle, Bestie. Wish me luck. I want another baby soon. Good luck, Bestie. Good luck with that. Baby dust. Even though I don't have any. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I just gave you. Happy Monday. I've been cleaning and listening to you. Bestie, dile que no encontraste la caja de cascuelas. I don't feel like I should. I low-key want another Chick-fil-A salad. I'm cooking right now mole rice and ham and tortillas. Don't forget to get a new ID with a new address. Yes. I've moved everything here. Just I just need to get my new uh, ID. Good luck, Brenda. Be Be Bessie's baby does this strong. <laughs> it is. Call on the ring food. I'm making braised short ribs for dinner. Just like, I don't even want to cook. I don't even want to cook. I'm just so tired. But yeah, I just, I'm, I don't feel like it. Good luck, Brenda. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There's no point. I don't think we're going to spend the night here. I think we're going to go spend the night at the other apartment. Tell Don to pick up something on his way. Oh, tell Don to think. Yeah. I look, I look he wants some. He calls, uh, he calls Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A. We got snacks. I just finished making mole. You think you're better than me from scratch? If you didn't make it from scratch, you didn't make it. You know what? New rule. <laughs> New rule. If you don't make mole from scratch, you didn't make mole. If you're using that little cup that you're later gonna rinse out and drink water out of it, you didn't make mole. So, you think you're better than me? You didn't make mole. Hmm. I'm gonna eat pozole rojo. I wanted some caldo, caldo de camarón. Yeah, do, you know what? Doña Mari made that mole. You didn't make it, Doña Mari did. And you better put some respect on Doña Mari's name. Yeah. No, dead ass though. I've been wanting some of my suegra's mole. <laughs> it's just so expensive to send stuff from Mexico to the US, but I think I'm a low key. I'm gonna just be like, girl, Send me some. I don't drink water out of it. I make coffee in my glass cup. Well, Doña Mari made that. So, shout out to her. I feel you, girl. Movies are tiring and shit. So, I'm a big fan, and luckily, tampoco toxico. Mm. And you're going live when I can't watch. Hmm. I wonder why. Yeah. And I was going to go live yesterday, but I didn't have Wi Fi yet. So, I was like, hmm. Should I or not? I wish I could have. I know though. I understand because y'all are absolutely right. I would have showed the pool dead ass. Um, thank you guys for telling me no. But it's really, really gorgeous. It's really nice. Ya me veo ahí nadando, según yo, o metiendo las pinches patas ahí. But there's nothing else for me to do. I already showed y'all everything. Aldi is German store, and they have healthier options. I'm making camarones de la diabla. I've been wanting a caldo de camarón so fucking... No, no de camarón, de siete mares. I want everything. You'll show it off at the right time, yeah. 
Well, no, I just wanted to go to see it because it's cute. They say I went to go kill a chicken and everything. They say I went to go kill a chicken. Oh, I was like, what? What? All right, down. Let me just walk out of work. <laughs> Over here in Oklahoma, it's kind of cold, windy weather. It's so crazy. This, los pies, not patas. Las patas. Just kidding. Oh, uh, you know, who used to tell me that? My fucking bitch ass aunt used to tell me that shit. The one that lives in Mexico, when I would tell her about que mis patas y no sé qué, she like tus pies. She said, una, un pájaro tiene patas, tú no tienes patas. Mis pies, pues. The dogs. The dogs are going to be out. Like, hold up, my bestie is showing us her new apartment. You can brush at home. <laughs> I'm done. This is so good. I say it well. No, I know, I know. I know, bestie. Um, but it's you so you know, no Minnesota has had snowstorm for two days. Excuse me, I just got off bestie. I would have wanted my cocina, ni modo, bestie. It's lo que hay. Me currently making my cleaning schedule for the week. Oh, you do a whole schedule? That's cute. That's nice of you. And I'm not doing the floors either. How come needs to come and mop this shit? Because I can't. I'm really loving the new apartment vibe, right? Once I get some good chairs though, because this chair ain't chairing. This is the one that y'all got, Jacobo. Um, not papas pesuñas. Uh, the cupboards for the fridge, irala. Dude, I was translating for a patient <laughs> once, and I said patas instead of pies. I die at least are laughing. My mother grabs me too and saying when I say I was. I'm cooking too and made some enchiladas. You know what grinds my gears when you say buenas tardes and people say buenas noches and it's only 6 p.m. Like, okay, granny. <laughs> bro, I will tell you this though. Okay, over the area that we're living in, bro, why is everybody so fucking nice? We went to the store, right? And I was shook. Like, how was like, what the fuck? I could, bro. <laughs> we're so used to like the fucking hood, bro. And like, you don't talk to people in the hood. You mind your fucking business. You just go about your fucking day. And over here, bro, people try to talk. So when I was in H-E-B, bro, this sweet old lady, right? I was walking, pushing my basket. And she was like, hi, how are you doing? Just out of nowhere, right? She was talking to me. And I was like, oh, I'm doing good. How are you? And she was like, oh, she's like, have a good morning. She's like, I'm doing good. Have a good morning. I was like, oh, have a good morning. And I was like, I'll go. And I go was like, People are nice over here. They talk to you. <laughs> and, then, and then this fucking there was this lady, right? She was a she was like a short little Asian lady, and she was like, "We're going in the fucking dairy aisle, right?" And she was going hella fast. And she's like, "Oh, she's like, go, you go, you go, you go." So we go whatever. And she was like, "Have a nice day." And I was like, "I was like, what the fuck?" I was like, wow i was like damn people are fucking nice like in the hood you don't get that you don't get it. in the hood you don't look at nobody you don't say nothing because there's a lot of homeless people out there and you just don't want a homeless to come up and like give you a kiss or something you're all flinching and they're just telling you that yeah I, we got two have a nice days today and i was shook i was like damn it's a it's a big fucking like and like they say good morning and then we were leaving there like good afternoon and i was like good afternoon like okay did you go to the north because south is not nice yeah well i've um so we were living more central and yeah now we're we're we're, we're a little up in north north but she said i missed the gunshots the cycle no she's been cycle and i was like oh finally has a nice day because they said have a nice day yeah yeah <laughs> let me shut up it's it's very it's very different and there's no noise. It is a little too quiet, not going to lie. And like the name, the people that we've seen. Hey, Brenda, welcome to Las Besties again, bestie. The, like the people that walk out, it's mostly people here with dogs. I am, I'm scared of a fucking Karen, low key. Um, but it's, it, it we haven't, to be honest, where we live right now, the these new apartments, we haven't seen any families. And um, we've only seen like couples or like you could tell people that are just friends, like roommates. And I haven't seen, there's only one older woman that I've seen so far. And she spends her time by the pool, like on her computer. I want to go visit the house from the real world. <laughs> Not give you a kiss. You never know. When I lived in my South Park Meadows, there was some homeless by the Sonic and it was sketch. No, bro, my old apartment, there's homeless everywhere literally homeless people everywhere you just don't know what the fuck you're gonna get like oh, <laughs> don't do this to those cameras be the one where oh yeah like 
I'm from the hood, bitch. Don't bug me. Bestie, you were right about Kate Middleton's video. It looks, uh, yeah, it doesn't look right, Bestie. But so just an example. Today, when we bought groceries, um, we we got Chick-fil-A, right? I did not remember nonstop noise. Now we just hear the train out in the country. <laughs> Bro, rump you live on Rumberg, Bestie? Rumberg is fucking scary. Dude, I even... Mm. I Vivian Las Avente. Kieran, I used to worry about Lamar. I remember fighting for my life. No, Rumberg and Lamar is so fucking scary, bro. I hate going out there. Like, I've never, never in the fucking ever would I go out there like that. Just because that's where all the drug dealers live. That's where, like, Las, las Que Cobran 20 Dollars live. Like, that's where the homeless people are. That HEB scares me. I've never gone in there. Never in the I never put gas at that HEB because I'm scared. Scared out of my fucking life. Like, I know my limits, and I just if you if you if you tell me you from Rumberg or you live on Lamar and Rumberg, I ain't gonna fuck with you. I I know you packing. That's all I'm motherfucking saying. You can't walk though. You got Running Man. You got that Sonic right there. Oh, I can't even. I can't even. I think Rumberg and Lamar is probably like Oakland or something. Las que cobran veinte. Yeah. Did you hear they ran over a man in a wheelchair? Remember? I, <gasps> no. No, Cameron Capital Plaza area is bad. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very fucking bad. I think this is a bittersweet moment, an opportunity to look back to see how far you came from. In this apartment right here, yes. Dios queda. On, in Capital Plaza, bro, I was there. Um, se me antojo buffet, buffet King, right? So I went, I passed through fucking Capital Plaza. I got to Buffet King and um, I was going to go get some takeout, right? This was last week. Why was there this homeless man, bro? And he had a fucking rock in his hand. And he was trying to hit people. And I was like, fuck, I'm already out here. Like, I'm already going to go in and get my food. What do I do? And I was so scared because I didn't have nothing on me. And I was like, if he, and he was throwing rocks. And there was another guy. He was just fucking with him. And like, he was like, you want to fight? And I was like, oh, I'm so fucking scared. And like, it was in like the little, it was next to um, Wingstop. So I was passing through there. And I was like, if he throws that rock, he going to hit me. He could kill me. Dad. It was like a heavy ass rock. So he was throwing, and I just ran in. I ran into fucking Buffet King and I was just there like this. Everybody's like, what's going on? I was like, there's a man out there throwing fucking rocks. I barely made it, bitch. And so nobody wanted to leave. And I was like, maybe let me get my food. And by the time I go out, he's gone, right? So they called the police on him. And um, everybody was just throwing, nobody wanted to get out because he was throwing fucking heavy ass rocks. And so I was there with my food in hand waiting. We were waiting to get out. And I was like, bro. This don't make no sense. Like, why am I in a hostage situation? This, this is a hostile situation. All because I wanted some takeout. That was the biggest big back activity. Like, I was shook. The way I'm from Atlanta and we talked to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, Capital Plaza is very dangerous. Cameron too. But they got good food on camera. Not gonna lie. The taquerias there be hitting. That's where I get the, the um, well, I'm not gonna be out on that side no more though. Like, I don't pass through there. But if it can't be having the homeless at the entrance, yep. <laughs> and I was so scared. And then where I, where I posted about the the Hugo guy, he's on camera too. But if can, um, no, no, don't you outside the buffet asking for money for her kids and rent while the bus literally long back. That that was the biggest big back shit. Wait, Bessie, you take out a buffet spot, you don't dine in. Yeah, it was just me. It was just me. I went to go get some food and I, I brought, I took it home. Cause I mean, I could have sat and like ate, but I don't know. It would just be B and B by myself. And I was like, what if somebody recognized me? And they're like, look at the sad bitch eating at a buffet by herself. I'm already a big bitch. Like that's just too much. Like you'll, I know my limits when being big back, that would have been too much. But yeah, that's just, scary. oh, so anyways, for an example. So how we went to HB, right? We bought the groceries here. Um, how couple, we're, we're hungry, we're star. Hello, Relikia. <laughs> We get here or whatever and Hokobo has the back of the truck open and he has the groceries there and he's like i'm gonna eat right now he's like, i'm fucking starving he's like, i'm gonna eat and i'll get the rest of the groceries he only brought up the cold stuff right and i was like oh and then he and so i was like no i was like what if somebody robs our groceries <laughs> I was like, he was like they're not gonna rob them here why where, where my old apartment i for sure you couldn't leave anything i had to close the back of my truck and lock it and lock the things on there if i had groceries or i would leave it in the back of the truck not in the trunk 
and because the homeless people will take your shit i've gotten my my shoes stolen i've had a bag of groceries stolen <laughs> Because there's homeless people that go into the apartments and like they're walking around, they go and they dig into the trash. And I guess they had seen one day that I left me me my groceries and I had like a couple bags left. They took a bag, and I was like, I had like three bags left, and there was only two there. And I was like, bro. And then I checked the camera, and I was like, yeah. And why? Because my big ass, my big back ass, didn't go back down right away to get the rest of my groceries. I was eating like a yogurt or something, and yeah. One time at Target, they stole our stuff because we left it in the back of the truck with no top. We had just moved there too. Yeah, and then at, at the apartments, <laughs> we had so much shit stolen from us at those apartments. They stole my fucking brand new shoes. They stole my carpa. They stole one of my ice chests. They stole one of my brother-in-law's um, his uh, tools. They stole my catalytic converter twice, bitch, off of both of my fucking trucks. They stole that. And... Why don't you, why won't you purchase a house and say, because I can't afford it. I can't afford it, Jessica. Can I go live at your house? I can't afford it. <laughs> I, I can't afford it, bestie. I, I, oh, I don't know if you're a bestie or not, but like, I can't afford it because I just can't. It's given, I be living uh, outside of my means. I just, I can't. No wonder they're going to miss you. Uh, bestie always helping out people in need. Yeah. Dead ass. I told the story before, but one time when I was leaving H E B, um, I there was some homeless guys out there in the parking lot, and I gave this dude a lunchable, and I was at a light, right? I was like, here, here you go, like that's all I had on me. It is what it is, bro. Why he threw that fucking lunchable in the back of my truck, and I didn't know he threw it. I thought he kept it, and so literally we ended up me and I ended up cleaning the back of my truck, and he's like, why the fuck you got a lunchable back here? I was like, I gave that to a homeless man. He threw it in the back of my truck. <laughs> Bro, I would have ate that. I would have ate that Lunchable. Like, why would you... Th like, now none of us got it. I didn't get it. You didn't get it. Like... Some of these homeless people, they fucking reckless, bro. That shit pissed me off. I was like, I would have ate that. Yeah, and it just said, y'all perder. It said, y'all perder because he didn't want it. He wanted money. Yeah. I fucking can't, bro. That shit still irks me to this day. I used to live on West Old Torf, scary ass hell, too inexpensive. Yup. That's how these homies They like to be called houseless now. Well, that houseless person fucking threw that lunchable in the back of my truck. No, they never want food. And it made me so mad. But he took it. Like, why would you take it from me? <sighs> hey, I can appreciate a good cat car whistle when I'm feeling myself in the hood, though. Go to a gas station in the hood. How many people never act right with you? They never. <laughs> get out. Whoever says that, get out. Mi momento más humilde. How many people not liking me? I'm just trying to help people out. And I don't have to. Like, bro, there's been time. I'm on the verge of homelessness. Like, back in the day, I'm on the verge of being right next to you. And you're not going to take what I'm giving you. Okay, then leave me alone. Then leave me alone. I almost like threw the coins at me that I gave her. <laughs> I was waiting for the bus and I panicked to give her something that was all I had in my pocket. I am a little about ocho mil que what que traían la cartera for the workers' paychecks. <gasps> and bags of carne for carne todo el merjuje le robaron. No, bestie. I offered him a Gatorade in the heat and he got mad. One time I got homeless man all the change out of my ashtray and he started throwing the pennies on the floor right in front of me. <laughs> I can't sit down no more. My ass is hurting. I fucking can't, bro. People are fucking ruthless. Like, some of them are very. Well, and here's the thing, though. Cause so y'all know what's her name? Is it Shirley on TikTok? Um, Bessie, I bought food for a homeless guy when I was in Colorado. Went to give it to him. He said, "I don't want your leftovers. Excuse me, the fuck." <laughs> Stop. No, Shirley, she works with homeless people, right? I think out there in um in Cali and you know, she understands them more in a sense of like she and she explained it very well. Yeah, I miss Shirley. And I understood it more because I know you're right. It's like we don't know what they've been through. We don't know if people ever tried to fuck with them or giving them stuff or like mess with them in a sense. And apparently, um, there's a thing where like a lot of homeless people are being poisoned. I didn't know that. 
And so I was like, okay, that, that makes more sense as to why maybe they don't want food or maybe they're more reserved. Yeah, Skid Row. Um, more reserved into taking things from people. So I was like, fuck, maybe that's, you know what I mean? But here in Austin, I don't know if anybody doing that, but still. Remember this homeless guy that threw the sandwich at you? <laughs> he didn't throw it at me, he threw it on the floor. But still, that shit pissed me off. Yeah, Bessie, they do get poisoned. I didn't know that. Not only the homeless, Bessie, all people that are struggling be rejecting your blessings. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah. No, that one time I fucking... It was when I was working at the fucking gas station and I took, um, there was this homeless guy and he, every, like every day that I had worked that week, he was just going and he was buying, um, stick sick gorillas and he wasn't eating. I could tell he wasn't eating. I would see him across, from, across the street and he wasn't eating nothing. And so I was like, you know, when I get off, I'm going to buy him some stuff. I bought him like a sandwich, a Coke, some chips and like, I think a donut or something. And I found him cause he wasn't there. I went driving around looking for him. I found him and I was like, here, like, here's some food. Like, you haven't eaten all day. You need to eat. And he's like, no, I don't want it. And I was insisting. I was like, no, here, like, I, I got it for you. Like, it's fine. And then he laughed at me. He's like, nah, I'm good. And so then he gets the bag, bro. And then he empties the bag on the floor. And then he kicks the sandwich. And he kicks, like, he starts kicking. I was like, no. I was like, don't. And I was so fucking mad, bro. I was like, no, don't do that. Like, what the fuck? And so I remember I went live. I went live on TikTok. And I was so mad. I was like, they gotta hear about this shit. I went live on TikTok, I was like, bro, what the fuck? And then I was driving around and I found another homeless guy down the street cause I was gonna go to the post office and he took it. I was like, hey, are you hungry? And I gave it to him. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, oh, I was so mad. One time some guy came up to me and my husband in the parking lot asking if he could come in with us to pick up some food. My husband said, we will buy you food and bring it out. We brought like three bags of food, comi y todo. This was, man was mad because he didn't like what we got him. The fuck? The fuck? No, but see, there's a lot of homeless people from Venezuela over here where I live. And they offer to wash your windows for money. And one time a guy told them, no, they got mad. They got mad. Llamaron a un pinche. Oh, le dijeron así. Here in Chicago, we got lots of Venezuelans and they stand outside the grocery stores and one of them told me that he was hungry. My dad gave him bread and the sandwich stuff and the guy threw it away. Dude, the other day a homeless looked at me and said, I should have taken care of you a long time ago. What? Girl, tell me why one time a lady came to my window and knocked and I told her no and she fucking cussed me out and walked away flipped me out. That was me with those fucking scammers in the parking lot. I can't. It's hard. Like, I, I don't know. I saw this girl, she posted on TikTok saying like, I guess it's like my home, what is it? It's like a trend that's going on saying like, this is my opinion as a Latina or whatever. And she was basically saying that um, she doesn't give money to homeless people or, or nothing like that because how, you know, her family came, um, she's from a family of immigrants and they came from nothing and they made something and they don't ask for handouts. They just, they work basically. And honestly, like the comments were crazy because they're like, you don't know about mental illness. You don't know about this and addiction. And I understand that for, for sure. But me personally, when it comes to homeless, I try to help out where I can. But um, it, it's like, I also, a veces le pienso dos veces because I'm just like, fuck, like at the end of the day, when I see men out, especially men, women, I feel like it's a little different because it just depends on the circumstances. But when I see men out there who are all, they're, they're in good shape. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. But, um... Like, I'm like, fuck, yo, see, le pienso dos veces because I'm like, damn, my husband is somewhere on a roof right now, sweating his ass off and, like, working hard. Se está quemando del sol. And it's just like, you could be doing that, too. Pero no quieren. They literally don't. Like, Jacobo le ha tocado to go, like, they, when sometimes when they go to Home Depot or they go and they're like, hey, you want work or whatever, like, you all you gotta do is pick up trash and they'll pay. No quieren trabajar. They just want money handed to them. And so sometimes I'm like, you know what? Um, You're good. If I can work, you can work. And, you know, Jacobo, like, sometimes he gets like, he's like, what the fuck? He's like, the way that they think, I think because him, you know, being an immigrant, he thinks in a way of like, this is a person who was born in the U.S. who, you know what I mean, has, he, he goes back to like, he has a social security card. Like, 
he, he'll be like, él es nacido acá. He was born here. He has all the right. And, and then it's mostly, you know, white people. He's like, he's a white person who was born here. And he has a social security card that he can work. And he can make money and, like, get all the benefits from being a U.S. citizen. And he's this is what he's choosing to fucking do. And I'm like, well, yeah, but you don't know what people are going through. He's like, yeah. He was like, get it. He's like, pero si da coraje because, you know, that's what we want. We want to be here and have the American dream and work and be able to provide for our families back in Mexico. And it's such a process for us. And I'm like, I get it. Like, I, from his point of view, I get it. And from mine, just because I look back at him and I think. And then my dad, too. I've always been like that, too, where I'm like, my dad, todavía su edad trabaja. He still works and he's out there and he's making money. And, like, it just, I'm like, do you know what I mean? But I get it. Some people do suffer from mental illness. Some people have um, drug addictions. or, or And it's hard. It's hard to kick that shit. It's hard. Like, once you go down that fucking, that hole of, like, it's hard. It's hard to get out there. People struggle with a lot of stuff. So that's why I'm just like, like when I can, I do. But a veces, when I see somebody get like, si se ve bien, y a veces ni se miran como homeless. They have good shoes on and like, they look like they're fine. And I'm like, bro, you know what I mean? Like, my man's out there. I don't know if, like, I don't know if I should get my hard earned money. You know what I mean? Sometimes he le pienso. But most of the time, just like, whatever, here. Because I'm also a big person and like, entre más das, más Dios te da. So not if y'all give money at those in the freeway because some really don't look like they are struggling. Yeah. Agrees. It's easier to be irresponsible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It just, it depends. I trust homeless with dogs and try to help feed them and their dogs. Oh, yeah. That's a really, that's another sign too. Give us a tour. First of all, se dice por favor. You say, please give me a tour. And then second of all, I already did it. I wouldn't be sitting here, girl, if I hadn't already done it. Go to the beginning of the video. And you're talking to me crazy, Jessica. You're talking to me crazy. I don't think I didn't notice, girl. You better pipe down. This is the new me. Aquí se dice por favor. At the, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I already did the fucking tour. I did part one and this is part two. At the McDonald's on my house, um, there was a homeless guy asking about the drive through And one time my nephew went at night and the guy asked him for money. And he was like, I'll buy you something. I don't have cash. He's like, no, I want cash for some <laughs> It is what it is. Hey, at least they're honest. But those scammers, man, I can't stand those family scammers. It makes me so mad. I'm like, why you got your baby kids out here? The ones, and honestly, I, this might, this, this might, um, this might be like weird. Or maybe you're like, bitch, you're tripping. But I feel like they think because they have their baby kids out there with them, people are more inclined to give money. But I don't. Because you have your kids out here, it makes me hate you more. If that makes sense. Because... Your bebe kids are out here with you and, they, and they're on their phones. They all have phones. They always have phones. They're sitting in a cute little Walmart chair that you can get at Walmart, like the little Disney ones. And they're on their damn phone. And I'm just like, um, because you have your kids out here on their damn phone, that's what's making me mad. During the week when they should be at school, when they should be at school, you have your kids out here. That's, that's what makes me not give you money. First of all, you're not being responsible. And second of all, I know damn well, why your baby kids got a phone? They each have a, they have a tablet or a phone. They're on something. No, you don't need the money. Sell, because if you really needed it, they wouldn't be on a phone. You sell that phone. You go pawn that tablet and there's some grocery money. Okay, people who have been through the struggle know how to get out of the struggle. They know how to fix their problems. Okay, so no. Because the baby kids are out there, por eso mismo, I'm not giving you nothing. I do, I'm guilty, trick loved kids. <laughs> and that's fine. But I'm like, bro, be fucking for real. They be having their cash app names on their signs too, bro. Some other newborns out here in the snow asking for money. I'm like, bro, take that baby somewhere. Yup. It's crazy. Look, I mean, it's not just them. What, um, what upsets me también is when I see, like, during the week, a veces, there's some señoras que van y venden flores. I don't know if they're definitely Hispanic or like Latinos, but I don't know if they're Mexican per se. But I'm like, bro, like these kids are supposed to be in school. Y los tienes acá vendiendo flores. Like, it just upsets me because, sea lo que sea, here's the thing, besties. It's going to sound gonna messed up. Y'all going to be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. But I'm going to say it because y'all know I don't care. But it's like, bro, you came over here. My parents came over here. Jacobo came over here to, to break those fucking, those habits. Because that's how it is in Mexico. A lot of kids don't go to school porque tienen que trabajar. Yeah, I remember when I was in the Café 88, that little boy was selling uh, flowers and stuff. He wasn't going to school. He wasn't doing nothing like that. And so it's like, you, you come over here to break that so that your kids can have a better future. So that, you know what I mean? So why do you have, it's, at this point, if you're struggling like this, like low-key, es la misma chingadera. 
Like, I don't understand why you came over here then if, if your kids are going to be struggling still. Like, that just doesn't get... That, that, to me, doesn't make any sense. Your daughter should not be out here by 35 selling flowers. Like, she should be in school. You can do it. You know what I mean? You hustle and do it. And they're little, and I'm like, bro... And it's so dangerous, too. Like, I don't know. That shit just makes me mad. Because I'm like, bro, it's, it's the same shit at this fucking point. Like, there's no reason. There's no fucking reason. Okay, I saw this man hanging out at Dollar Tree and was charging his phone on the outside. I made mine my own business and didn't rat him out because I was shook it. <laughs> I don't know. It's rough out here. And I get it. Until you've been in that situation, like, uno nunca sabe, but I've been, I've been on the verge. Like, when me and Jacobo had first fucking moved in, like, we didn't have nothing besties. Like, I, like literally just eggs, beans, rice, the necessities. When we had first moved out the first fucking time. And I started working at Sonic. Like, it was, like, yo pasaba, like, literally, like, the first fucking, what was it? We were maybe, like... It was after he had gotten um, some of like the paperwork where we had no money. And it was it was two years in, because I didn't work the first two years of our marriage. And I got a job at Sonic. And literally, like with the food that we had, it, was, it wasn't it was food for like to take a lunch. So like I would go to work with no water, like no snacks, or like, you know, just to take a uh, regular lunch. And when I was working at the that first Sonic where I got fired from, um, they would give me like fries here and there and I would eat that. But I'll never forget like going there, I'm like, fuck, like, what am I supposed to do? Y cada, you know, cada quien con su lonchecito, con sus snacks, with their water bottle. And I just felt, like, so sorry for myself. But I was like, hey, I can't want that. I can't want that. And then when I, I, I had fucking, they fired me from that Sonic. And so I lied. <laughs> I lied. And I went to another, um, to another Sonic. And I said I had experience. Because I did. I had trained at that Sonic. They just fired me because they said I wasn't, I wasn't fast enough. And so I lied at the, nut, the next Sonic that I applied for. They said, okay, you know, like you have experience, get on here. And I did. And I just fucking, I, I thugged it out and I just learned as I was going. I remember what they taught me at the first Sonic. And I just, I was trying to be faster. I was trying to be faster. I was hustling. And then I started working at Target and I was working both jobs. And that's when I started getting tips. I started making money. Like at that Sonic, I made a shit ton of money, low key. And that was years ago when, you know, tips really weren't a thing. People, people were tipped there and i was like okay yeah yeah i un cambio but like the first the first fucking year working like not even year like a couple months working at that one sonic it was bad it was real bad especially the first time you moved out was that a different apartment from your last no i i, I had been at this old apartment for 10 years i grew up on food stamps and going to food banks i now donate to food banks consistently yeah um i my mom got food stamps for us too when we were younger uh and wick and all that stuff I'm not, uh, I'm not, how you say, food stamps and that shit, that shit's not new to me, for sure, I have been on food stamps, and honestly, I was so mad at my mom too, because when, um, when I was working at Sonic and Target and stuff, my mom, when I, I had already, um, I had already gotten married, and I had no idea that my mom was still getting food stamps from me, bro, and I was like, what in the fuck is going on? And so I fui le reclame and like I fucking made her because I don't I forgot what it was affecting me with. I forgot I think I had gotten a letter or something. I don't know what the fuck had happened. Came in my I don't know. And I don't know what I was trying to fucking do. And I fucking made her call the food stamp office in front of me. And I was like, take me off. Mind you, I had already been married two years. She was getting food stamps for me for fucking two years, bro. I was like, be fucking for real. And I was so mad. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you been getting food and it, ugh, feeding these random ass men. We could have, like, she could have gave me some of the money for food. She could have been like, hey, here's a card. Go get some fucking food when we were struggling. No, no. I was like, that's some fucking shit. I work at a hotel in those families with the baby kids be coming in with stacks of money. I don't give them money anymore. Oh, yeah, my friend works at a hotel and she says, like, I want rentan. Like, they'll, they'll rent out fucking hotels there, but it's a bunch of them in there and they have nice, like, they have houses. Those people have houses and they have um, maybe, oh, that's what it was. Exactly. Thank you. It was during Don's process that they fucking flagged that. And they're like, you're on food stamps because you're not supposed to be on, um, that's exactly what it was. 
you're not supposed to be on food stamps. They told us, our lawyer told us, you cannot get Medicaid, you cannot get WIC, you cannot get food stamps, you cannot get any government assistance when you are trying to fix your papers. And so they, it had came up that I was on food stamps. I was like, no, I'm not. They're like, yeah, you are. And it's not going to help his case. Like He won't get them because basically the whole point of getting his papers is that he can pay taxes in the U.S. and provide for you. And if you're living off the government, they won't give you papers. And I was like, what the fuck? And so that's when I went to my mom and I was like, what the? Like, I'm on fucking food. Like, I was so mad, y'all. That's what it was, exactly. I was shook. I was like, bro, you could have at least helped the bitch out and bought me, I don't know, some meat or something, a pack of fucking sodas. But yeah, that shit was crazy. That was a crazy time. I asked them how much do they get asking for money and they said 400 a day. <gasps> I love your partner, but so happy for you. Though. Law enforcement agents have raided Sean Diddy Combs' homes in both Miami and London and connected to a sex community. Oh, thanks for the news. It was it was just a matter of, a matter of fucking time with Diddy, though, honestly. And let me tell you something. I'm tired of J-Lo. I am now... If J-Lo has one... If J-Lo has no haters, it's because I'm gone. Okay? I am now the number one J-Lo hater. I was very much forgiving, and I was very much cutting her some slack because she did play Selena in my favorite movie. But... I'm done. I'm done. And I need her to chill the fuck out. I need her to stop making these lame-ass songs, these lame-ass music videos, and these lame-ass movies. If anybody cares. Tell her I said I don't like her. Did you watch the Quiet on Set document? No, Bessie. I ain't gonna lie. I have not had time. But I will get on it. I've been seeing snippets on TikTok, but I haven't, I haven't watched it um, like completely. That was with Trump, right? Because I had food stamps with Biden and my man just got it. Yeah, it was with Trump. Jacobo got his papers under um, Trump when Trump was in, in office or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that was some shit. But to be honest, some people still got away with it. Um, I think it, I don't even think it really was that enforced, Bestie, when Trump was president because I have friends too who they were on food stamps. I'm like, they, they still got their papers. Yeah, I'm done with that fake diva bitch too. <laughs> I'm done with her, Bestie. I feel like quiet on set could have been more unless there's more. Bro, I saw I would have food stamps, but apparently I make too much. Like how I'm just making enough for that's what I'm saying. We just surviving. We just fucking surviving. Um oh, I didn't even answer the question on the bestie who fucking asked me how much it would be to fucking to move, how much you should save. It depends because um so at my apartment I'm living at right now, I was gonna have to pay um april's rent which would have been like a thousand two hundred or like a thousand dollars because i didn't give a 60-day notice i only gave a 30-day notice and so they told me it was gonna be a thousand but the girl they're super chill and like she had seen how long we had been there and i was like yeah like and either way they're gonna remodel them because we have an outdated version of the apartment and so i was you guys are gonna remodel anyway he's like you know i'm doing y'all a favor y'all gonna we're gonna increase the fucking rent I was paying twelve hundred. They're probably gonna charge like sixteen to seventeen hundred now when they remodel it. And so she's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's fine." She's like, "We well, you know." And then she started offering me all this stuff, like I don't know how many days rent free, blah blah blah, like to to stay. And I was like, "No, like we're we're leaving. We already have another apartment, blah blah." blah. And she told me that she the deposit that she was gonna take it out. She thought I'll take it out from what you you have to pay. So instead of it being a thousand it's gonna be i think 600 she said to move out so we still have to pay that um at the beginning of april i have to pay 600 dollars to my old apartment and then here um we got a special like deal or whatever so we didn't pay too much here um but like when it comes to moving and buying new stuff i think it all depends if you're gonna move if you're gonna buy new stuff and me my couches were old um i don't need a kitchen table because it has this island thing here and like there's there's kind of room for like a little small table but like i don't i don't see the necessity um my bed my mattress was old i could have kept my old bed frame but like i wanted a new one it just depends if you want new stuff but like realistically we, we've been spending this money but just because we want we wanted new stuff um so far, like we've saved it, we saved for this, like the presupuesto to move was about five G's, five thousand. We haven't gone through it all yet, um, for what we had to move here, but it's going. I'll tell you that much, it's going. Cause I still need my vanity, and um, I still need some some rugs in here. <sighs> yeah, I need a toaster oven. 
but I don't know. It just depends. It all depends where you're moving, how much they're going to charge up front for moving, like the deposits, the admin fees, all of that, application fees. Just depending on where you want to go, um, save up for that, bestie. More episodes are coming up. The nine cent store was my friend when I moved out. Just because I could get groceries for one person, my meat, I would buy. I buy it. Oh, Jayla yeah. would do anything to stay relevant, but it's not working in her favor. It's not. When I first moved out, I bought most of the stuff at Big Lots and my bed at Ikea. I love Ikea. I don't care what anybody says I love Ikea. I was going to say we say 4K to move, but to a new apartment with everything we needed. Yeah, I would say I would say 4 to 5K. I've been in my apartment for four months, and I'm still not done decorating. Yeah. And here's the thing. Take your time. I was kind of rushing it. I was like, I just want everything. Yeah, you got to get a little extra. But for my beauty room, I'm going to take my time. Slowly but surely, I'll get that shit together. The rest, I don't care. All I need is nightstands, too. I need to get two nightstands. And that's it. And I thought I was going to have room for a bench. I wanted a bench by the bed, but it look, it's looking like there's no room for that shit. So I'm not going to get one. I don't know why. Low key, my, my room um, in my old apartment is bigger than this room in a sense i believe i think i have more room for sure oh yeah for sure i had more room because i still had all my vanity in my corner and stuff i'm having to move soon but everything is over 2k for just one bedroom apartment no utilities included yeah here in austin the cheapest you're gonna find right now is 1600 oh generator was on <gasps> per and that's my cue to go that's my cue to go i've been here for on a minute I, we can't even do, damn it, we can't even do a watch party. Just kidding. Um, just kidding, just kidding. I forgot my other phone at home, at my old apartment. I'm in these sin. I can't even do it with this one. Y'all better let me know. Somebody FaceTime me and screen share. <laughs> just kidding. Have you spent more than you thought you were? But no, I haven't spent more yet. Um, we, we, we've been budget like... The budget that we had, we're still sticking to it. The groceries were kind of like, you know, but we're we're still sticking to it. We're, we're getting there. For sure. <sighs> All right, besties. Well, I'm going to hop off of here. Hopefully, Hogobo should be here soon because ya tardo. Um, I'm waiting for my bed frame to get here. And yeah, I don't know what the live schedule will be like. I will post uh, for, your, for the PPV. Um, I don't think I'm going to promise any lives this week. I think we're just going to go with the flow because we're still moving stuff here. But other than that, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little apartment tour. It's not all done yet. Once everything's here, I'll do another, uh, another tour. Um, but yeah, but I'm gonna get off here. I love you guys. She said that she went out. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. But I know, my views are going to go down because everybody's rushing over there. Um, hold on. She's, did you, oh, yeah, the view's about to drop because that's more, that's some exciting shit. You know what I mean? That's some exciting shit. I don't blame y'all, but I know, I know the view's finna fucking go down, so. See you soon, bestie. Yeah, I'll see y'all soon. Um, que Dios me los bendiga hoy, mañana y siempre por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Now I gotta watch for it. Bye, besties. Bye, besties. I love you guys, and I will see y'all soon.